Hey, everybody, how's it going? Hi. What are you up to today? Uh, Singing see, no achy breaky heart, yeah. sir. You guys, you guys better type, start typing fast because I'm going to start this right away. Mercy sakes. Uh, hey, everybody out there in the chat. I'm just cleaning my table off. I got some overspray glue on my table here. <clears throat> I was just telling Charles, like, I, I, I need more time. I, I need like an extra hour to do this. <laughs> yeah. Who's all out there? We have Mr. John Nay, Robin, Jerry, Polly Wants a Crafter, Arnell Media, Mark Lindsay. Uh, oh, God, I've slept. Uh, uh, that was it, sir. Mark was There's, first. Look at that. Yeah, Mark was I first, was, then John Nay. I was fourth, I failed you. And Herb, I don't know if I said Herb, and Leonard Davis just joined us. Yeah, Leonard Davis. Hey, everybody, how's it going? Um, so, uh, hey, let's start this off properly. Hey, everybody, how's it going? John here with What If I Could, Scroll Saw, Portrait, Wood Design, and Woodworks, and uh, everything else. If I'm here, <laughs> what, if I, what If I Could, W-O-O-D, uh, Facebook, Facebook, YouTube, Facebook, and all Instagram, the other ones. Instagram, and all the other ones. Twitch. Yeah. <clears throat> But not only fans, not yet. Wait for it. It's gonna be hot. <clears throat> and I'm, uh, I'm already on the waiting list, sir. Yeah, I know you are. <laughs> and uh, let's say, let's say hey to Charles. Tell us Hi. Where you're what you're doing? I'm sitting here, and I'm Charles Deering, WoodenVisions.com, sponsored by Harnell Media and Wooden Teddy Bear. <laughs> and uh, blah, blah, blah. the Charles Deering on Facebook and Instagram and Charles during scroller on YouTube, and thank you for having me back to you, John. Hey, what did we tell you about your coveralls last time? That I look sexier and I'll get out. Something yeah, like but you got to wear you got to wear them properly. You either got to wear like half shirt or, or a muscle shirt or no shirt at all, and one shoulder has to be off. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> y'all don't want to see no more of this than I'm showing. I'm just saying. So anybody out there in the chat, one on the panel, let us know. I'll send you guys. Well, uh, we'll get somebody to send you guys a link. And yep. uh, uh, today I'm working on. I got a couple of of, of Mario Mario inspired growth charts. So I got to I don't have the boards. Done. I don't even have the boards yet. So I don't have the boards ready to go. I don't have them done. I got to I got to cut them, router them, sand them, get them ready to go for everything that I'm cutting out right now. They may be putting on them. Yes, I did not lie. I will be painting, but. I'm not painting wood. I'm painting MDF. So, therefore, it's not real wood. It's paintable. <clears throat> and the uh, uh, the growth charts, I'm actually going to... Uh, I have to add sides to the top of them to make them look like Mario pipes. Because <clears throat> Mario pipes go straight up and then they get that extra topper on them. So, I got to I got to do that for the top of those. Um, if you guys looked at the thumbnail, uh, let me share screen so I can show you the actual layout of what it's going to look like. Do I need um, to whistle and hum the uh mario thing the whole time i'm the sound of this guy <laughs> that's, that's only when he hits coins <clears throat> yeah mark says coveralls them's bib overalls man coveralls completely cover you from ankles to wrist yep, them's overalls. yeah exactly my yeah. name is billy joe jim bob all right, let me uh, share screens here so I can show you guys what it's going to look like. Sort of ish. Up. It's still it's still in a work workable area, workable thing that I'm doing right now anyway. So it, it, everything's always in the works anyway. Am I sharing screen? Can you see that? Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So oh, wrong one. That's my thumbnail. Let's open this one. That's my thumbnail again. <laughs> Sorry. I had something. I had it. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. So my concept of this is uh, with the growth charts, do, 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 there's the full growth chart. So I'm going to have the names on there as well. And th this is the actual Mario font that I'm using for them and that I had to copy, paste, break apart, rebuild, and redraw so I can get the proper things for their names on those. And then the Super Mario, because it's all oh, in our copyright, blah, blah, blah. What I'm doing is I'm taking the actual Super Mario Brothers logo, like that. And I rebuilt 
grant for the top of it. I'm going to get red, red, red acrylic X that's going to cover the Mario and then nice. put Grant over top of it. So it's going to be the Super Grant Brothers. That's <laughs> nifty. Last, last name's Grant. <laughs> Larry has joined us, sir. And also, what I will be doing is adding in characters. So, so far, I got uh, uh, Mario, Luigi, uh, one of the turtles, uh, Yoshi, Akuba, and uh, Bowser as well. <clears throat> so, I, I'm going to be adding in a couple more as well. I, I, I think I'll put in the, the cloud that goes across the top. What was he hits the flag? I, I might put a flag in there as well. I'm just gonna add on to everything to make it look super cool for him. Hell yeah! So, and uh, uh, I work with my work. Yeah. Cool. Johnny B has joined on. us as well. Larry, Larry, and Johnny hey, B Johnny. Have joined since you started babbling. I mean, talking. Sorry. Yeah, yeah Larry. Hey, Johnny. Yeah. Oh, so and, basically, uh, it's gonna sorry. be. Go on. I was just responding to uh, uh, Mark, but it had nothing to do with the show. So back to you, sir. Well, you can talk to him anyway. It's fine. You sure? No, Mark, Mark says he uh, wants to get some overalls like that, Charles, but nobody here locally has them, so I can't. I, I got them. mine from Amazon. I'm 52 years old and just recently started wearing them because I never knew how to size them. There's, but, no, 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 there's no farmers in the area? Well, I mean, I don't walk up. Hey, how do you buy, buy overalls? But no, you got to. I think there's like a. These are Dickie's brand. Stop giggling. Um, I believe it's. 40 inch waist and I wear 36 inch waist jeans. I wear 34 length and these are 30 length. So, I mean, it's really weird sizing. So if you read the comments or questions regarding overalls on a, on a Amazon, people will tell you how to do it. And I had to return the last one because yeah. So I went way big on the, uh, on the waist because they fit pretty a little bit snug on the waist actually across the belly more than anything. Go ahead, John. Back to the show. I, I suppose they are overalls, not coveralls, right? Yeah. Because coveralls cover all. And I don't like covering up this beautiful body. Yeah, yeah. They work with me here. Yeah, yeah. I'm bringing sexy back. I had lost it for quite a while. <laughs> it was still lost. <laughs> Love you too. By God, I knew I could count on the homies. <laughs> Don't make me fold my face up like an old redneck. Exactly, Charles. Room for growth. <laughs> what? Miss yeah, tractor, tractor, tractor supply. It's called tractor supply. Yeah, Shay, Shay has joined us. Yes, Leonard. Hey, room hey, for Shay. growth. Dang it. Work with me here. So I got some stuff laid out, and basically uh, these are backers. I got to do with the uh, letter overlays. Um, let me get rid of my. Sh am I still screen sharing here? Nope. Let me get rid of that. Uh, let me go full screen here. Boopy doo, boop 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 boopy doo. So it, uh, I got to do backers anyway first, which is the whole black out out grant background. So I'll be cutting backers first. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Maddox Herb, Grant Zayden. Herb, Herb says I shed. I think he meant to say hi Shay. I just <laughs> thought it was funny. And that, then uh, uh, background <laughs> background for the characters as well. The, the one thing in the background. Go the, on. Those characters are set up that those that all the black can be wood, aren't they? Without floaters. It uh, looks no, that way. Not. No, there's That's gonna be a lot of floaters plan. in these. There's gonna Dang. be a lot of floaters in these. So basic see, because basically what I'm gonna do. I'll cut the backers out as full pieces, and then I'm going to cut the interiors out as single lines. Like, so, so the, the the lines that that you see black will be. I'll be cutting all the lines so that like sorry, I'll be cutting all the white out so all the lines will stay. And what I'll be doing is I'll be melting crayons to inlay all the colors in these. Right, that's nifty. So that way, that way they'll have all the colors to them, so, and all the colors will be inlaid with crayon, and then I'll. Uh, uh, put them on the black backer. That's a very so, neat idea, and and I think a lot of those, you, if you wanted to connect like the pupil of the eye and the nostril stuff, it, it could be done. I think it's uh, either way, it's kind of neat. And I could I, my chat too. Go ahead. I could like I can just add add extra lines to them. Uh, there's there's only like uh, I think it's just the eyeballs on most. Yeah, of the, the and the nostrils on, most on some of them. Yeah. yeah the, so the the nostrils and, and the the pupils on two of them. 
are the only floaters that they're going to be there. That's so, true. but That's it's not a big deal. I can I can still cut them out and just put just glue them on the backers before I lay, lay my glue on my, my melt my crayons into them. <coughs> so I'll be melting crayons and I'll be painting wood. And I'll just be using my angelic voice to read the comments. And I do know that uh, uh, Charles pointed out that there's a spelling error when I spelled out the word painting. It's called painting because you know painting for me is a pain in the air so therefore in the hind end is what he means it's not really a spelling error it's just a painting i'll be painting wood an ironic pun yeah we'll go with that it was planned so if anybody has any other questions 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 my question is why did you get a achy breaky heart stuck in my head sir I didn't. You started singing that before I even got on the show. Full stank. Yep, you did. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Mark, Mark oh, says, yeah. paging Dr. Freud. Hello. Or hello. I, I, I don't know how he said it. And uh, Robin is dying because she's laughing. I don't even know which one I want to start with. I'm going to start cutting my acrylic out. <clears throat> Let's start with Maddox since it's on the top. No, my acrylic's on top. Fine. I mean, I re I'm rearranged it all. I meant on top of your thumbnail, but I, it was just a suggestion. <laughs> now, if you guys didn't catch the... Uh, oh, I know most of you did. If you guys didn't catch the... Uh, the scroll off group scroll off yesterday. Scroll off group or contest. What's the proper... What's the full name of that? I can't... I can never remember. Well, on Facebook, it's scroll off group for contest. But uh, the, the YouTube channel is called Scroll Offs and More. And by the way, it has been uploaded to the Scroll Offs and More YouTube channel. And Robin, yeah. you'll be happy to know I made a better thumbnail. And uh, I don't remember what your point was, John, because I interrupted. I keep grabbing the wrong mouse. <laughs> <Shit. Yeah. laughs> so basically, I'm just cutting backgrounds right now. But I will, you know, I'll just run this however long. So I get tired or hungry or whatever. Um, but uh, tomorrow's Spat Holiday. It's uh, Alberta Heritage Day. I don't know what it is, Ontario. I don't know what it is. You know, I can slip that up. It's di different holidays across the country tomorrow. Spat Holiday. Because I know it, it's Alberta Heritage Day tomorrow in Alberta. Billy Bird has joined us, sir. Back to your holidays. Uh in BC, it is British Columbia Day. Alberta's Heritage Day. In New Brunswick, it is New Brunswick Day. Oh, pretty Rob, obvious, isn't it? Robin uh, says I, Civic Holiday, and Billy has joined us back to you, John. Natal Day in uh, Nova Scotia. Uh, it's for the boats. Uh, Saskatchewan Day. Oh, it, it's also Terry Fox Day in Manitoba. <clears throat> it's Terry Day in Texas. Go ahead. Do you guys, do you guys know who Terry Fox is? I know who Jamie Fox is. I don't know who Terry Fox is. Wow. You guys don't know a lot of Kane history, do you? No, sorry. I, I, I'm kind of proud of that. But. So T Terry Fox, uh, back in the 80s, he was a runner. He actually ran across Canada on one leg. Well, then he I'm was, guessing he hopped. No, he, he actually, like, he, he, he had a prosthetic. Oh, I knew and, that. Don't look uh, at that. Uh, he, he, he was a Canadian athlete, humanitarian, uh, cancer research activist. Uh, he he lost he lost his one leg to uh, cancer, I believe, and he ran he ran across the country. He literally ran across Canada in uh, in nineteen eighty. And there's there's a picture of him. That's not a short trip, neither. Nope, nope. He's uh like he's, he's <laughs> one, uh, one Canada's heroes. And yeah, he, he did an awesome job. But yeah. he didn't. He, did, he didn't actually make it all the way across Canada. I think he actually ended up stopping in uh, Sudbury, which is where he's from, you know, Northern Ontario, and that's where he ended, actually actually ended up passing away. Well, dang it! Hello, Doug. Uh, he passed away during the run. Yep. That's sad. And every every year, all the schools do a Terry Fox run to raise money for cancer research in Canada. Cool. Yeah, there you go, Mark. Yeah, it's Monday in the U.S. It's not Monday. Tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow, yes. Sorry. 
Yeah, so anyway. so t today, like I said, I'll be, I'll be going as long as I can today. It doesn't really matter, probably till eight, five hours today. Hell yeah, dude. And then, and then tomorrow I'll be cutting everything else out. I bet Leonard will be here the whole time, won't you, buddy? And then I got to go to the store. I go to, go to go to Staples so I can get. You can buy you can buy individual crayons at Staples apparently. Um, no offense, but why buy individual crayons? Oh, because, because you need certain because, colors. Okay. Because that way I can buy the colors I need. Thank you, Robin. Because yeah. I, I I know you can buy them single. Like they come in prices of single sixes, twelves, or twenty fours, and and any of these really cool, little, cool Crayola packages to put them into. Uh, uh, and I'm not trying to be facetious here, but maybe buy more than you need because we don't know exactly how how much of a puddle one crayon will make. Oh, I know. Okay, but I know uh, that there, there's basically there's basically only four, four, five. I, I think there's five, five standard colors that that Mar the Mario uses: uh, yellow, red, blue, green, uh, and white, and uh, brown as well. And I know that for uh, I got to get brown for Koopa, and everything else is basically white, white, green, brown. I don't know a dang thing about Mario Brothers, so I'm just gonna follow along. Oh, I remember playing it when it, when it first came out. That was a long time ago. Because I'm getting older, Billy. <laughs> He's asking why I was going to make a puddle. Hello, Steve Combs. Jumbo crowns for little kids that might come in. What? I missed that one. I didn't even see that. Jumbo crowns for little kids may come in handy for this. Well, see, I, I want to use actual Crayola brand because I know they're they're not... Number one, they're non-toxic. I don't want to buy the cheap, the, the cheap Chinese ones because they actually are toxic. But the thing is, is that uh, when it when I actually lay these on, so when 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 these are actually being complete complete cut out, you can actually um, I'm I'm going to mount them to the backer board to the the, the growth chart with Velcro, and uh, also there's going to be a little piece of Velcro on Mario and Luigi because Mario will actually sit on top of Luigi or on on, on top of Yoshi. <laughs> So. Uh, where, where, I missed this comment about the crown. Where is that? Uh, Mark just said uh, you can probably buy the Jumbo Kids crowns. <clears throat> oh well, that oh I'm watching on Streamyard. That's where I screwed up. Sorry about that, Mark. Yeah. And John. Okay, I'm back to YouTube. Yay. Yeah. So, like I said, I'll be cutting all day today for five. Like I said, five hours maybe. And then tomorrow. So yeah, if you guys got nothing to do tomorrow, or if you're you know got real jobs, or if you're retired, got nothing to do, come join me. I'll be here all day. I always got stuff I should be doing, but I'm happy to be here, sir. Oh, you can keep working on your pattern. We're not going to stop you from doing that. Yeah, but I got to do my job, sir. I mean, dude, sorry. Yeah, we got in trouble for that, didn't we? Oh, I forgot to say hi to Billy. Hey, Billy. Hi, Billy. And if you've got any questions or comments, throw them out there in the chat. I'm sure to answer them for you. Or show them to you. Or whatever you want. Billy says he'll be working on the shop tomorrow, he hopes. And uh, you, you 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 work for the tradition, John. It took about 18 minutes to get started. Well, oh, I should just wait for the whole 20 minutes then. <laughs> John says he'll be here with bells on. And uh, hopefully we won't have pictures. No offense, John. I'll be there with bells on. Yes, that's Farmer Chuck. Good Lord. I, I've never had anybody critique my wardrobe as much as Steve. <laughs> never. Never. But just because one time I wore a lady's one piece of swimming suit. Good Lord. You look sexy in that there. Thank you, sir. I was didn't want to brag. Agreed, Doug. Y'all are just jealous that I can do a cartwheel. It wasn't perfect, but I did one. Just saying. John is working on an X. Well, actually, it's dark blue, uh, Steve, but I'll take it. I only have two black t shirts, and they're both dirty.
Doug, I got my red dot today. I couldn't afford a good one, a, a, a more expensive one. What red dot would you talk about? For my AR. Oh. Why red? Why not yellow? I think they only make them in red and green. The dot right, they, you see through the sight thingy. The actual, red. the actual sight dot or the laser pointer? Well, it's it's a it's you don't actually uh, the, uh, the 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 dot the sight dot yeah you're gonna come with one you're gonna come with a white one no there's actually no sights on these they're Diamondback brand DB15 and uh didn't have sights on them so I went ahead and ordered normal front and rear sights but uh. But I went ahead and got a that red dot with a little magnifier in front of it, which hadn't come in yet. Yeah, it's a sight, not a laser. I think you only see it through the sight. I don't think you see an actual dot unless you have a laser. Now you I know you Doug laser. has. You can shoot from the hip. Yeah, Doug has uh, actual laser dots. Well, dots you can see on the wall. I don't, I don't think this one does that. I guess I can hold it up with a wall now. Now you gotta get a uh, night vision goggles too. Well, there's a battery in it, so I don't know if I've released that battery yet. Access the battery because I haven't looked at anything. Okay, well, how do you make the red dot show up, uh, Doug? I don't even see a battery cover here. It's an HS403R2MOA LED. Uh, if it's an LED, it's got to have a dot. I don't remember where the dang battery is at. And I can't see without my glasses on, so let me get back to the comments. Yeah, Steve says it does not uh, project a light. Okay. Now, Doug said something about I believe his side is on the side, and I'm wondering if I'll need that because when I was holding the AR, you kind of have to tweak your head kind of far to get over the middle of the AR, and I haven't had to do that with the usual with the usual rifles. I see a dot, but y'all don't. That is so cool. Technology is awesome. Uh, where are we at? Larry says, go ahead and advertise. They already looking at people, SFFL books. I'm not even sure what he's talking about, but that's me. Mark says, we're so rural, we don't have sidewalks to roll up at night. Good lordy. <laughs> Doug says, I can't see what you're doing. Can't see what who's doing. Me or you? I don't. Uh, probably me. I was looking down. Push on the plus multiple times to brighten the dot and then look through the glass from the skinny end. Jeff. Yeah, I was looking through the glass on the skinny end. I just don't see the I don't see the plus, but we don't have to do this on the air. I see the windage and elevation dials, but I don't see anything else. Except for the MOA adjustment. Hold it close to the camera so I can see it. You want it from the side or from what? I'll put you on big cam. Sorry. The one I actually wanted was $300, but can't afford that. And uh, I had help getting this, so there's that. 
So what do you need it for? Protection and sport. Mainly sport. Have, have you been broken into yet? Well, I don't know. They probably see the cameras outside. I, I just, you know, be prepared by God's second amendment, buddy. Uh, uh, Billy says, the side of my AR will do a red dot or a green dot. Uh, Doug says, yeah, yours is better better than what? Uh, Mark says, I just discovered a tractor supply store 30 miles away. I got one, like, right down the road. Thanks for the suggestions. I didn't think there was one within 100 miles of us. Unscrew the side battery. Should be in there. And Steve says, my eye. The side battery. Would that be the the little... Oh, I'm not on screen. Don't worry about me, John. Seriously. You talking about the big knob or the little knob, uh, Doug? Here, I'll, I'll put you back on there. I, I, I don't want to mess up your stuff. You talking about the little... No, I'm meter? pretty sure it would have come with an instruction manual, by the way. It probably has. I haven't opened it yet. I just now took it out of the box. Oh. Uh, I guess he means the little one. I guess why don't I just look in the manual? There's probably pictures in there, you know, because you know it's American, right? There's probably pictures that says, "Oh, this is the adjustment knob. This is the yeah. battery case cover." Well, all of a sudden, FAQ guide. Battery tray. There's not a battery tray on this, is there? There has to be. It's in the picture. They're talking about a battery tray that I don't even see. It's, oh, battery cap. I think it's the big one. It's a red dot sight for the uh, for an AR-15 uh, rubber. Okay. Battery cap. I think it's the big one, but I guess we're about to find out. Unscrew that knob with the slit across it. All the knobs have slits across them, but I'm, I'm going to do the big one. Oh, let me look in the manual. Dang, blame it. <laughs> Jerry says, wow, you don't have to keep the camera on me, uh, uh, John. Jerry says, wow, if there was one person shouldn't be trying to assemble that. Kiss my hind parts, dag I know what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. I'm very safe with guns. I don't know much about guns other than safety. And I know which end to point. Pew pew. <laughs> the round thing on the side of it with the slot across. It. See, y'all aren't understanding. There's more than one slot. All the knobs and whatevers have slots across them. But the, the one that has the deepest slot is the gigantic knob. So. <laughs> Herb says, call in so I didn't know it was done a gun story okay okay it is the big knob <laughs> not the one holding it yeah love you too but already Doug's messaging me, calling me a dummy. <laughs> I have to read comments, Dougie. I can't. I can't. So you're cutting acrylic. You want to cut slow, and I have, but it's still melting to itself in certain spots. I don't know why. I hate it when that happens. That's the only thing that takes the fun out of acrylic. But other than that, you can do a lot of things with them. Lamont. Okay, well, the battery thing's in there. Is there a tab in there? It's already in place. I don't know why. Maybe I just wasn't paying attention. All right, you go, uh, do whatever you got to do, you yeah, for real. You okay, her? What the hell keeps falling? Oh, that was the cat. Big dummy? Oh, okay, that was a Stanford and Son reference. Big dummy. Well, the battery's in there. Larry says ATF is taking photos of stores, FFL books, using their personal phones and starting to confiscate weapons, FFL, federal firearms license. 
come and take it, buddy. Good thing I think it was talking about the French Foreign Legion. This is odd. I don't know why it keeps talking to itself. Let me uh, add a spacer in here so I can get some new part of the blade. It doesn't have plastic on it already. Yeah. I have to step away for just a moment, so y'all forgive me if I don't read your clever comment. No, it's still melting back itself. Blade must be too hot. I'll let it could lay, lay cool off, and I'll go to another piece right now. two patterns or printed off two patterns of these one's gonna be for the backer one's gonna be for the lettering so it's not a big deal anyway bum, bum, bum. let me check something on facebook here thanks her for sharing that for me Did that remember those gun store not long ago? And when my brother asked them about it, they responded, There are books. Huh? <clears throat> well, I don't know. Now, I am using a spiral blade, but you're going to see me turning this log because I find it easier to cut in a straight line towards me, or away from me, rather, because straight lines. There's a lot of straight lines, but a lot of curvy lines, too, because of the font that it is, though. It is a three-dimensional looking font, but it's going to be two levels. It's not really MDF, it's hardboard. So it's uh, you can buy it in four by eight sheets, quarter inch thick. Us for doing this stuff. I just gotta put a primer coat on. Before I put my paint colors on here. Uh, not really tempered masonite. It it's, I know it 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 basically is is just glued, glued in, glued sawdust. I know I know it is MDF. Uh, they call it hardboard. <clears throat> it's like HDF, I guess. <clears throat>
uh matt sudden change side uh no it's uh shiny on both sides so i know uh, well, it looks it looks mad on this side because because of my glue my glue over spray it it is shiny on both sides let me grab a new piece here's a new piece no it's uh it's gloss on both sides <clears throat> Bought it at the big box store because I was going to use it for templates uh, for my router. And uh, I found out it was too thin. So rather than doubling them up, I'm going to use it for stuff like this. And when I do my templates, I make them out of 3 eighths now. <clears throat> So I know uh, when you go to the big box store, there's different piles of this at the back of the store, well, back of my store, and um, they come. You can get them flat like this one, or you get them with designs on them, uh, with like fake tile or for your wainscoting. So it's got like uh, uh, wainscoting or bead boards, like imprinted right into them. <clears throat> hey, Mr. Fowler, how's it going? <clears throat> So I may not be correct on the proper MDF terminology of it. But I know it's sold as hardboard. And it's in the MDF section. never was a dummy. Hi, John. What's that? I said I never was a dummy. Uh, Doug was saying I wasn't a dummy anymore. Uh, Billy's calling it panel board. I call it pegboard personally, but he says, isn't panel board just holy masonite? That's what I thought. And hello, Mr. Robert Fowler. And sorry for anything I missed. See, I like our... Our, our pegboard is base it, it's basically MDF as well up here though because masonite I consider like like my my, my table my, my my desktop is masonite right countertop well, it's like sure. it's like really hard pressed cardboard yeah Mark says yeah go ahead but but that's why I call it MDF like, like yeah. what, what what we consider masonite is is like your your MDF or your chipboard with this the the, the smooth cover on it right yeah. Like your counter uh, your countertops. Yes, sir. Uh, Mark, Mark is saying tempered masonite is a smooth and shiny on one side and matted on the other. The matte side has a rough texture on it. Yep, yep, yep. I used to be big into uh, pegboards, but you got to organize them. <laughs> Who wants to be organized? Mm. Holy masonite, Batman. Sorry. I, yeah, they can all be winners. Uh, okay, here you go. Fibrex, uh, high density hardboard. 
there you go. It's a high density hardboard. That's what they call it. Yeah. <laughs> well, they got some of that stuff to use for house house siding or 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 sub, not something. I can't think I of would, the word. I would it's not it's got side. cement in it. I know they 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 swell when they get wet. Yeah, so figure that one out. Well, that, that one of them has cement in it. Just so. yeah. yeah uh, Billy said he's heard Masonite called hardboard. So have I. And Mark says, "Yeah, like, can you hear me?" Uh, Mark says, "We call it panel board, hardboard, or medite." Medite, medite yeah, but yeah, medite, depending on how who you're talking to. But if you're talking to a Canadian, it's just say it's that uh, it's that board over there. Eh? Yeah. Come on, that was funny, people. Good Lord, work with me here. You make it funny, eh? I, well, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say a single negative word about you. I boot you. You caught me. <laughs> Take off, eh? Those are. <laughs> now I'm doing a watchman's face. Uh, McKinney, McKenzie, hush. Robin does McKenzie. Yeah, that them. Billy Burt says the stuff with the same in it is for lining tubs and showers for tile. I know what he's talking about, but that wasn't what I was talking about. Uh, Hardy board, that, that's, that's, never mind. Yeah, I know what y'all are talking about, but that's not what I was talking about. Yeah, so the, the, the Hardy board is like a cement type of, uh, yeah, th this was the stuff that had that faux wood grain on it texture. It's only about a quarter inch thick, if it look maybe a little thicker. I actually hate when they put that on buildings. They got those yeah. signs up on it. Well, that and it doesn't last that long. Yeah, it does. You, you would think forever. it would, but well, okay, then I'm thinking of something else. Yeah, I don't know. I know what Billy and uh, Mark are talking about. That's what you line showers with because, you know, water, <laughs> moisture, whatever, humidity. And while we're on construction, people should know about those seat holes you see in brick walls. You'll every now and then you'll see a gap in there because that's how moisture gets it out. Just saying. It's not as convenient when moisture gets in, so you don't want to spray a hose in there like a brick. So it might seem kind of redundant that I'm actually building the full Super Mario Brothers backer, but once the uh, once this one gets laid over top of it, you're going to be able to see the Mario in the background. That's why I'm actually doing all of it. <clears throat> Otherwise, I can just you know I could have just thrown this right in the middle of it too. I mean, nobody would have yeah, noticed. Yeah, however you want to do it, by God. A studio, a studio, a studio. Martinez Pablo, I haven't seen you in forever, sir. He's uh, watching from Facebook. He says, "Nice scrolling, my friend." If I'm talking loud, y'all tell me. I'm I'm trying to talk over the saw, so I apologize, and I'm not complaining. I'm just saying. Why is it that? Loud. Is it that loud? No, I just feel like I need to yell over it. <laughs> Mark Lindsay says it's your story, John. Tell it any way you want to. <laughs> Billy says, BRB, need to get something for dinner. All right. Thank you, everybody, by the way, for uh, either participating and or watching the uh, scroll off yesterday. Robin says, take one ear out of your headphones, Charles. You won't feel like yelling. 
I don't mind yelling, hell. I'm a retention whore. What was that? What? Are you saying there, Sonny? Ah. <laughs> I was using the voice, but I couldn't think of anything creative to say, so I just went, ah. Gran, Gran. Actually, have have entry holes here. I gotta do too. Yeah. In the in the R, the A, no, nope, the G. No, nope, nope. this is my backer. These ones are staying. I knew. I totally knew that. It's part of that whole pay attention to detail thing. Like I, you know, I I could I could leave it there. Nobody nobody would have known. Robin called me a whippersnapper. I think. I think we're about the same age. I don't have any idea how old Robin is. <clears throat> She's had her birthday. That I still don't. Okay, happy birthday, but I still don't know her age. <laughs> not that I'm asking. Some people make fun of her for it, but I don't even know it. She's my I'm 52. Uh, Mark says, I told the wife that if I get bib overalls, I have to grow out of the white beard. Grow out the white beard. Stop getting haircut. Well, I think. Well, I shaved my head, so there's that. But I... My my skin is too pale white to go without a shirt on. I'm just saying, good lord! Oh, she's saying I meant you could say whipper snapper. Here, whipper snapper, get off my lawn! <laughs> yeah, it's a law. <clears throat> I'd like to grow my hair out, but it's receding too dang much, and it's too dang fine. It ain't thick. Yeah, there's a lot of ways of uh, making that black be wood on those characters, but yeah, either way, I think it looks nifty. <laughs> Y'all wondering what John was doing? He was listening at the to the ping. Ping. Mark, I think you're safe as long as you don't stop taking showers. I think that's the only time it'll bother her. Mark says, I smoked a brisket the other day, Robin. The cooking is already done. Because <laughs> Robin was saying, don't tell her that before dinner, Mark. LOL. Welcome to my channel. You know what? I'm actually going to make a light be wood. Double stackers. All right. Well, uh, for, for one for each bird, obviously. Well, because I got to cut the insides out anyway, so I might right, as well right, double right. stack these. If I double the stack them, that way I'm doing my backer and my outside at the same time. Yeah, and whatever you do, do not break the blade. Now, those that didn't watch, John was only like 40-something seconds behind me on, and if he hadn't broken blades, but then again, not to brag, but I... Took a couple swigs of Dr. Pepper and lit a couple of cigarettes, so John might have oh still lost his oh ass. Oh hey, I'm just saying, don't be hating on the speed demon, okay? Actually, it wasn't going that fast. Uh, but I was asking for feedback in the scrolling group or scroll off group, and Jerry suggested people like me and John starting five minutes after everybody else. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with people saying I should just host it. It's a, it's, you know, whatever. It's for the fun and the experience and the passion and all that other uh, marketing <laughs> language. Okay, how am I going to double stack these? I, 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 I wrote down the times, Robin. Uh, she said I thought he was like 15 seconds. <clears throat> Between me finishing and Janet finishing was only 11 minutes, so it was pretty close for everybody. Mark says a handicap system like in golf, I'm oh, sure. Yeah, exactly. I had a 30 stroke lead. I, I'm okay with that. I mean, if people think that's fair, because I don't want people not to join these scroll offs because trolls one, two of them or some kind of thing. That's why I would, I'm not saying I don't want to be in them. I'm saying I'm willing to not be a people if that keeps people from joining them. That was my, my reason of bringing that up. Anywho, 
But yeah, Jerry Brown suggested me and John or people like us starting five minutes later. I mean, people like us. That sounds. <laughs> well, we're sound unique nice. individuals, sir. Not everybody would introduce us to their parents. They should. <clears throat> Robin says Charles has to scroll with one hand behind his back. Something wrong with your ass? I mean, okay, feedback noted. Mark says, I think y'all are pretty evenly matched depending on the pattern. The only time I really scroll fast, fast is when I feel like I may not win. <laughs> when Janet says she only had two left, I started scrolling faster. But she was incorrect about how many she had left. Robin says, I think John and Charles should have a scroll off. No, John will want to throw a limb on it and say he's done. <laughs> Come on, John, that's funny. Yeah, yeah, that was hilarious. Thank you. Thank you. Are we going to have a scroll off, John? A really hard yeah. pattern says. Yeah, as long as, it's my, as long as it's something my size that I'd like to do. Well, I'd like three inches wide. No, too big. Am I not pretty enough to be on camera, mister? Just saying. We could do, we could do it the size of a quarter. I should be on camera because I'm really pretty. All right. All right um, we do the size of a quarter, but then you're, you're going to be like, oh, here, here's the Canadian quarter. Yeah. I'll find something to gripe about. Mark says, it's not like y'all are going up against a group of Harbor Freight saws. This is true. I think, and I'm not trying to be arrogant or anything else. I think what people are saying is me and John having experience it and, and me analyzing because that's what i do i think even though it's not about necessarily winning people still kind of in the back of their heads want to win so you know you want to give them a okay up okay help. so so if uh let's say for example shay wanted to do another one against you who would get the advantage on that one well shay's scared of me billy's back <laughs> and <laughs> Mark says, don't tell her I said that. I ain't scared. Mark says, it's really down to the blade selection and how closely you follow the pattern. Yes, it is. But it's also about how quickly you scroll. But uh, yeah, I mean, some people, it, uh, to me, it's confidence, really. Because I, I, I put my saw speed all the way up. Oh, crap. There's, there's Shay. <laughs> Oh dear! Hello, Murph. Like, uh, Pop, like, Poppy's like, woodshed has joined us. Because you know, <laughs> you know, we, 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 it, it, if Shay and Charles were to go back at it again, we'd have to give Shay like a five-minute lead. Or, no, no, so sorry, we'd have to give Charles like a ten-minute head start before Shay. Not ten minutes. Out. I was only a minute forty-two behind her. Good lord. <laughs> Yeah, but she now, stopped for uh, she she also, she also stopped to have pizza and eat a couple more yeah. things, items and stuff. And you you were going float the whole time. No, I I, I stopped to take a drink and I went to <laughs> piddle my diddle for a while for a little bit. And I, but yeah, hey, hey, hey Mervin, how's it going, buddy? No, Shay should have to do a cartwheel and something silly looking. Just saying. Mm -hmm. Although that wasn't my punishment, my dumbass volunteered. Mark says, hey, Billy, you ever put a whole prime rib on the smoker? Probably. Robin says she slowed down. You know, we're just all smack talking now. Eh? I can't. Yeah, I can't <laughs> believe Shay was listening when I said that. She's scared of me. <laughs> I haven't seen Mervin for a while. What's, what's Mervin been up to, buddy? I don't know. You can ask him. He's right out there. But uh, I know. Hey, Merv, what have you been up to, buddy? Yeah, Shaley says I didn't have huge holes, and Steve says and she didn't drill half the wood away. Y'all kiss my ass. Billy says I have not marked, but it would be good. <laughs> oh Lord, 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 Lord! I uh <laughs> see. Part of the fun of smack talk is when somebody's not there to say, "No, I'm not." Dang it. And I still won yesterday without the half-inch pilot holes. Thank y'all very much. You wanted to use them, though, didn't you? Well, only to not fight with the pilot holes, but uh, other than that, no. Mervin says he's been working, and it's hot out here. Yeah, it's very hot out here. See, Shaley, what I had meant was... <laughs> 
Uh, she says I'm always in the background. So I, 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 I bet when I said that, she probably said, "Oh hell no," <laughs> <laughs> or something dirtier, because she did cuss four times on our stroll off. Just saying, Shay. Just saying. Hello, Mike. He says he's been here, but listening. I think of all the smack talkers, mine and Shay's was the worst. Uh, everybody else is kind of light level. It's personal. Mark did a brisket the other day. It was fifty-four dollars. Holy monkey poop! What cost fifty? Monkey poop cost fifty-four dollars. Or brisket. <laughs> monkey, monkey poop, poop. Oh, did you know monkeypox is now uh, racist? Against the monkeys? Uh, I'm not going to analyze it live on the air because somebody will get offended. <laughs> God, this world is too soft. By the way, I think we broke 50 members in the uh, scroll off group for contest on Facebook. Well, I know I broke uh, 315 subscribers on my YouTube page. Sweet. I broke wind. Um, uh, uh, Merv says, I did beef stroganoff today. Billy says, that's fairly cheap anymore, Mark. I've seen them for nearly $90. Although they're talking to each other, I need something to do, so I'm just reading it out loud. It was a small brisket, only 14 pounds, says Mark. And Merv says pineapple and pineapple upside down cake. And Mark buys it. Food service stores. We are caught up, at least on StreamYard. I'm supposed to be doing this from YouTube. Yeah, we're still caught up. But you notice I'm not as viciously talking smack since Shay did fairly squarely beat me. But, uh, yeah. John, are you frozen or just doing something? No, I'm just checking uh, something. All right. I thought I was going to have to entertain the folks. Hello, Nancy has joined us. Says, hello, sorry, I missed the scroll off. Was just resting and stayed away from you two. I get it. It's all good, Nancy. Nancy, it's I saw I saw your roll top desk. It looks freaking awesome. Is it a miniature or an actual desk? Miniature. There's so much detail in that. Like the roll top, it rolls on it, the drawers open. It's awesome. That's awesome. It's freaking awesome. It looks like it's made to scale. But Nancy, your uh, your punishment for missing the scroll off is a cartwheel and a speed up. Okay. On Shay's channel. On Shay's channel. <laughs> Somewhere now, or another, people always find a way to talk about food around me. Go ahead, John. I don't normally do <sighs> copyrighted materials. But I actually got these from a free shareable site. <clears throat> Sometimes I do it. copyrighted crap, but it's not a tactic for me to say that. But I'm not marketing to the masses when I, when I, like if I'm doing a Mario thing for somebody down the street, whoop de doo, sue me. I don't give a sh you can't get blood from a turnip. But in general, I should be more stringent. You know what I mean? She says, thanks, John. It should be to scale. I drew up the plans before building it. Sweet. See, now, I'm not going to get into the whole copyright thing. I understand whole, the whole copyright and everything else. But but I'm not selling the Mario part as the product. I'm selling the growth the chart. yeah I'm selling the growth charts as a product. These are just, I'm throwing these in as extras for him. <laughs> I think technically it's copyright infringement, but there again, it's 
so minimal. We're little people. Not that that makes it right, but what can see, you do? See, huh? but, but in my defense, these are from a free downloadable uh, coloring page site. So, Coloringbooks.com or some kind of something? Yeah, I just Google coloring pages. <clears throat> yeah, a lot of people do that. Uh, Mark says, what you're making counts as personal mm -hmm. use, John. Yeah. That too, that matters. Nancy says, sorry, no cartwheels for me. I don't need any broken bones. I only hurt my foot a little bit for a week. I didn't feel it at the time, but yeah, my ankle was kind of. Well, how about a somersault? How about a somersault, Nancy? Uh, yeah. All right. What do they call it? A walkover? Yeah. I'll tumble for you. A dive roll. I interrupted you while you were singing, John, so if you want to pour your heart out again, go for it. That's why I stopped. Don't tell my heart. Nancy says, my desk video should be up this week. Yo, go check it out. Don't tell my heart, my achy, breaky heart. Just don't think you'd understand. It sucks in somebody's head. You're welcome. We've got 13 people watching. 10 thumbs up. Yeah, buddy. There we go. So by double stacking, I got the backer, which will be black. And that way I can drill all the dr drill your holes in this one. Use this in my fronter. My front. Fronter. Fronter. <laughs> Sorry. Front is, front my front is piece. Yeah. We'll go that with that. Can it over, sounds that so way I can overlay it, and then I'll I'll, I'll do my filling with my my Crayola crayons. See. Yeah. Good thing I thought of that before I got too far ahead of myself. <clears throat> well, that would have really sucked. <laughs> Canadians have a funny word for uh uh colored pencils too i think they call them pencil crayons don't you they are pencil crayons no they're colored pencils well no technically i guess they are but we call them colored pencils yeah but, you, you know you guys change the words on everything absolutely it's like not wanting water till the well runs dry billy <laughs> what billy i think billy had something dental done he's saying he can only eat Soft foods, so he's always hungry. It's like, like you bananas. don't want something until you can't have it. <laughs> mm, bananas and pudding. I'm getting hungry. I'm, not by, I'm here for the long haul, yo. A sucks, but I'm dedicated. Now, if I had a, uh, a, a, uh, a resin sponsor, if I had a resin <laughs> sponsor, if you didn't set a resin. <laughs> <laughs> blink, blink. Somebody get him a damn resin sponsor. Well, I think I'll be starting doing more shows anyway. So. Yay! Why? I mean, why? Why not? I didn't mean that in a bad way. In other words, okay. like. Because I know I, I know other people that said, "Oh, I'll be doing daily shows and blah blah blah." Well, blah. So I, then you know we're we're <laughs> we're, we're waiting around every night for for these other people to do their daily shows and they never show. 
Well, I was, I, I can only or, speak for me, but or, I was off solving the world peace. Just saying. I'm not talking about just you. And there, there, there's other people that want that, that have scheduled shows that don't show up for their shows. So basically, you know, we're sitting around at night waiting for these shows to happen and nothing happens till an hour later. And then it's like, okay, well, I could have gone. <laughs> I could have gone on. So then I'll be going on. So now we're doing more shows. Yeah. If y'all paid me more, I'd probably come around more often. Just kidding. Alrighty then. I haven't touched my pattern since I've sat here. Why not? I'm afraid I'll miss a comment, sir, and I'll fail at my job. Did you pay me a site? No, I've already figured that out. Uh, Greg Snowcrusher joined us. Hello, Sam. Greg. Hey, buddy. It's a, a no-show show. Oh, exactly, right. a no-show show. Need a coffee or a Mark's, Mike's Hard Lemonade? <laughs> Mark says, seeing as how the last show you did was June 11th, John, doing more shows wouldn't be a bad thing. But before yeah, the scroll so, off, I don't know how long ago. I did. So June 11th, that would have been my, my last scroll palooza. And then I had a show scheduled after that. And then I had... I. Oh yeah, oh yeah, because the, the power got cut out on that one, and then so I had other shows scheduled. And then I was out of town, and then I was doing a lot of driving in the last last two weeks. But it, what what did I say? Three uh, three thousand miles. How do you last, know that won't happen again? I'm being week. serious. I, I'm not saying it won't happen, but no. I, you know, but but now that I actually have projects, my shop is a little more cleaner. It's not totally clean. But my shop is cleaner now, <clears throat> so I'm a little more organized, and I will be doing stuff. Nice. Before before yesterday, I hadn't been live since July 10th. Good Lord. Before that, I was every few days, or at least yeah. the 9th and 10th. Go ahead. Yeah, and then, and then you know, my, my last scroll of Palooza, well, I, I, because that was scheduled, and then the, the scroll off was scheduled, but my my family reunion was the weekend of my scroll of Palooza, so I should have had it the weekend before, and then not thinking about it. <clears throat> so, whatever. <laughs> So I got more projects coming up. I got more stuff I got to finish up, so I'll start working on that again. Hello, Jason Rickoloff. Uh, Robin says, what do you think sounds better as a title? Wood pumpkin or scrolling a pumpkin? Now, Robin, if somebody is searching for scrolling, they'll find it quicker with that title of scrolling a pumpkin. Just saying. How about scrolling in the pumpkin patch? <laughs> Or, I don't know what to call it. Oh, I just broke a blade. The hell, right? Nancy says hey. she's working on a VW van Bluetooth speaker box. Just need to paint it. And we're caught up other than hellos and stuff. Back to you, John. Are you going to paint it blue? Is Bluetooth. <laughs> I can't send them to his room, folks. It's his show. <laughs> Paint it blue with teeth on it. <laughs> What's that? It's a Bluetooth. Well, it's a Bluetooth, not blue teeth. Just saying. <coughs> and stuff. And stuff. And things. Don't tell my heart. So I need to call. I need to call Seiko and get some stupid blade clamps. Did you know I gotta call them because they won't friggin' send stuff to me through the mail if I do it online. Dang it! Well, I was I was watching uh, Russ Clarity show last night, and then he had this uh. guy on there. Just relax. Yeah, this I'm just guy kidding. Good from, uh, Lord. It was our, our truck locomotive based down in the States. And he makes these uh, laser cut locomotives and caboose cars and all kinds of cool stuff. And uh, so I went on his Etsy site and uh, I look at something there. And I'm like, oh, that's a nice looking Hudson Hudson engine and tender. 
and uh, it comes in a kit and everything else with instructions and everything else. And uh, I got to put it in my checkout. And I'm like, nope, it does not deliver to Canada. I'm like, all right, fine. Oh, so of course. That business, yep. Well, Billy, being Billy, says, I'd rather have a Bluetooth than a no tooth. And, uh, and he's talking to what's her face. And Nancy says, I haven't decided yet, but I wanted to add flowers like a 60s van. Flower power, and we're caught up. So I think people that say that they will, you know, they, they do worldwide shipping. And yeah, you know, he's, he says he has shipped stuff to Germany and stuff like that before. But the thing is that when I go on the Etsy site, if the Etsy site says did not deliver to Canada, then you just lost a customer. And you don't want to lose John as a customer. Mr. And and, and I, I really don't care if it says, yeah, well, yeah. So, so Mark says, yeah, ship it to me. I'll forward it to you. But the thing is, is, you know what? I, I shouldn't have to do that. Agreed. I shouldn't have to find somebody in the States to sh have it shipped to and then have it shipped up to me because, you know, technically I'm paying for double the shipping, number one. And number two, um, if I refer other people in Canada down to them, then they got to do the same thing. They got to find somebody down there to have it shipped to. Well, that's fine. Mark will cover shipping, won't you, buddy? Like it, it might have just been a glitch in Etsy, but when, when, it, when it actually comes up, oh, it does, <laughs> cause I, took, I, I took a screenshot of it, too. And it says right on it. Let me pull it up. Mark says, I agree. You shouldn't have to do it, but if you really need it. It says right on it. This item does not deliver to Canada. And it didn't matter what item I chose. None of them delivered to Canada. So... Like it, it, was a really, it was a really cool, cool set. What got me though was that it was all laser cut, which I wasn't impressed by, but it looked nice. Yeah. Steve says you could just move here, John. They're not even checking people anymore. You can just walk over. He's not wrong. <laughs> and I agree. I've been trying for years, but uh, and uh, Steve says the seller set their Etsy up for U.S. shipping only. But but yet uh, on the show last night they said that they shipped to uh, Germany, the U.K. and, and Australia. So, and like I was, I was talking with Doug about it, and I said, you know, which, which I find not really offensive, but if it, if you're willing to ship into the lower 48, right, and and Hawaii <coughs> and then to Alaska, well, it has to go over Canada to get to Alaska, which really makes no sense because it's the same shipping in the lower 48 as it is to Alaska and Hawaii, as far as I know. And then if you're shipping all the way up to Alaska, you might as well just drop it off halfway up there. Yeah. Just set it on a parachute, drop it on the back of the plane. Mark says, shoot the guy a message on Etsy. He might be doing it for tax purposes on his end. No, I'll pass. All right. I've shipped stuff worldwide. I've never had a problem. Steve says, shipping to Alaska doesn't have the additional taxes. That? Shipping to Alaska does not have additional taxes, according yeah. to Steve Nealon. Which, which, like I said, doesn't make any sense. Yeah, but a whole lot of things don't make sense. I tell you what. Mark says, that's why I don't sell my items through my website. I'm not collecting sales tax for a state I don't live in. 
I let my print on demand services take care of that on my merch. 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 That's a hip word and stuff. Don't besmirch the merch. Yeah. <laughs> I think the only first time I heard the term besmirch and most commonly hear it is on Sean Hannity. Anyway. Steve says, I think you should make little spikes like those and put them on your nut turtles. Actually, you know what? <laughs> it's, fu it's funny you mention that because uh, a couple years ago, uh, there was some um, crochet patterns that you can make for your tortoises to make them look like dinosaurs. And basically, just they, they got felt. They got, <laughs> yeah, so they, it basically, it. it uh, the back of the shell was, was was all crocheted with dinosaur spikes or whatever, and it had Velcro on the front, so you just tie it around your tortoise. Uh -huh. But you got to catch your tortoise first, and they're pretty fast. <sighs> well, I can catch them. I just call her over and <laughs> bribe her with food. Here, tortoise. <laughs> Well, I was kind of joking about them being fast, too. Just saying. They are fast. Well, not faster than people. Well, no. Well, that they was the fast. humor, sir. They are fast, though. Yeah. Faster than a chameleon. Especially when they're hungry. I know when I start doing the crayon work on this, I know I'm going to have to do a couple test pieces. I don't know whether I got to prime. I'm going to prime and paint these first, though. And then I got to figure out whether the crayon is going to stick to the primer on these or whether I got to put uh, some kind of sort, of sort of like tacky conditioner, like maybe glue or something, spray glue. I'm not yeah. sure yet. <clears throat> you remember when I said I was going to be here for the long haul? Yeah, you're taking off. I didn't know I was going to be tired and hungry. You'd think by now I'd have it figured out. That's fine. If you can take off, take off. Anybody, I like love anybody, you. Else, anybody else out there wants in the chat, just let me know. I'll send you guys a link. Anybody want on the panel to read comments for <laughs> Come on in, Rob, and I'll give you a free pattern from Charles. <laughs> I used to, as he took off before, I used to, you had a chance to hear that. Hey, wait. No, Robin, I can't give you his patterns. <clears throat> but uh, I do know that, uh, like I said, projects I got to get done. I guess so I got to get these done. I got to finish up my dragonflies. I got to finish my memorial hearts and the aluminum pipe, uh, pizza pan. Uh, memorial for my godmother. Yeah, so I'll be catching up on a bunch of stuff. <laughs> eh. <gasps> what? 
<laughs> surprise, surprise. Holy cow. Yeah. Is this like going to be a, like a once a year meeting thing that you come on to my show? No. Well, because I know I know you you haven't been on my channel for almost a year. Well, b besides that uh, the frog you cut out, but I was on a scroll of blues though. Oh well, yeah. Well, no, I've been here watching and commenting. I just mm -hmm. haven't come into the. Well, you've always there's always been other people here, and I just you know how it goes. Oh, so basically, I I need nobody here for you to come in then. Well, not necessarily, but I saw an opportunity and I took it. <laughs> Well, it's great having you here, Billy. Hey, Billy, uh, you want to do me a favor? Uh, what? You want to introduce yourself and tell everybody where they can find you at? Hi, everybody. How you doing? <laughs> uh, Billy Burt. Uh, one of my YouTube channels is The Messy Scroller. You see that right there. The other one is The Messy Studio, Billy Burt Sr. on Facebook uh, and on Instagram. And either The Messy Studio or Billy Burt on TikTok as well. Cool, cool. And you're always hanging out over at uh, Robin's Buys and DIYs. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I am. So what happened? Like, I, I, I missed the whole story, but what's going on with you right now? Oh, uh, <clears throat> I, I had a permanent bridge uh, in between my canines for the last 43 years. And it decided to... Uh, basically, it decided to unass itself, and oh. well, that happens. Yeah, I was of all things. I bit into Hello Nancy. I bit into a uh, fish taco. <laughs> <laughs> of all and, things, uh, yeah, of all things, and they went snap and flying across the dining room table, almost landed in my wife's plate. Uh, yeah, that was fun. So uh, Wednesday. Wednesday, uh, I had the stumps removed and uh, bone grafts put in, and they will, um, it's going to be a three or four months long process, she said, uh, after everything heals and the bone grafts take, they'll put uh, three pins and give me a new bridge. So I don't have to wear dentures. So are they like implants then? They will. Yeah, will be implants. All right, Mike. Have a good night. See you later. Take care. Night, Mike. Oh yeah. Oh, oh <laughs> right. So, 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 um, in 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 reference to Mark's video, yes. On so, I I am GMC minus seven. Because, but oh. I still, I honestly still believe a twenty-four hour time is more, more, more effective than anything else. What are, what are your, what are your views on on time yeah. like that, Billy? On times like what? Like, uh, do you think twenty-four hour time is is more specific and and accurate than saying Mountain Standard or Central or Eastern or saying GMT minus however many hours? <laughs> <clears throat> oh wow um well the only problem was you, you still got even if you use a 24 hour clock like we did in the using 24 hour numbers like we did in the military it did you still got the different time zones well yes i understand that but the thing is so basically i think that when i'm going to start videos are going to be at you know uh 14 30 or 15 1500 hours at mountain standard time Oh, and I got you. Well, is, right. So, the only so, problem is not not everybody understands the the oh eight hundred and exactly hundred and sixteen hundred hour thing. I know, but but everybody everybody understands. Oh, three p.m. Central. Yeah, they can look it up if they're not in that time zone. Well, exactly, which throws a lot of people off. <laughs> <laughs> See, but but Mark, I, I do know that uh, during daylight savings, I'm GMT minus six, which throws people off even more because then you got to figure out when daylight savings is. Well, no, people like me, I have to figure out when GMT is. I don't know when that is. Oh, 
see because I know there there are some states and some provinces that don't uh, that don't recognize uh, data savings. So what projects have you been working on the shop there, Billy? I saw. Um, um, I haven't. A lot of turnings. I need to. I need to do some more scrolling, but I've, yeah. I've, I've, a lot of turnings. I've been doing. I, I started a series. Uh, I don't know, a month or two ago, on turning on the cheap. Uh, a lot of my viewers have expressed desires for me to go back to doing more teaching and less playing with resin and stuff like that so <clears throat> one of the first things i did was because you know wood can it's just getting ungodly expensive and uh so i i started a series called turning on the cheap where i, I show you how to take wood that you can get either for free and tell you how to get free wood tell you where to look these sorts of things and um, and taking basically stuff that I've been given uh, by a, a, a wood shop that he told me to come get his cutoffs not long ago, and how to take wood like that and turn it into turning projects. So it's it's been fun. Cool. See, I know I have uh, I got probably a pallet a pallet of hardwood sitting out back in the back of my shop. It's been there for four years now. I know I got a I got a plane it process it and get it all cut down to size and I'll, I'll, I'll probably laminate a bunch of it i may even turn a bunch into cutting boards too i'm not sure yet yeah i mean you can <clears throat> most good hardwoods will make a really nice in grain cutting board the only only cutting boards i make are in grain i don't like i don't like straight grain cutting boards well hey, see, JJ. I, exactly and i also found that uh end grains actually last longer well, they do, and they're, they don't dole the knives as bad because, well, I mean, think about it. With an end grain cutting board, the grain runs this way, and the knife cuts into it like this, and you're just splitting the fibers. Yeah. Uh, and not cutting across it like a cross grain cutting board. Those cutting boards will wear out, number one. Number two, they dole the hell out of your knife. The best, uh, the best video I saw describing that was with a bunch of uh, straws. Right. With it, they, they, they had a bunch of straws all, yep. all the last together and said, okay, put your knife in like this, it goes straight down. And they turned it sideways. They said, if you cut them this way, yep. then your straws bend up because the, the fibers will bend up and everything else. And then if you, cut, if you cut, them, cut them this way, your your knife will go in, but it still will sever the tendon or the, the, the fibers in the wood, which will actually destroy your board. <clears throat> that is very true. But you don't see any like butcher blocks from, you know, like 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 the 1800s <laughs> like, you, you see them in movies once in a while you know the, those big four by four by five foot tall butcher blocks that are all worn down on the two sides yeah <clears throat> yeah and, and most of those if you look at them close they're in grain as well because basically they just took a tree and squared it off you know cut the cut the sides off on four sides and squared it off, maybe hollowed out the bottom into into some legs, and there it is. And those will last literally for several lifetimes. <clears throat> like anything antique, you don't want to really destroy it, but I guess you could you could plane it down or rather it flush again if you really need yeah. to. You could. Mark said, I've been a woodworker for 50 plus years. <clears throat> and it occurred to me Friday that we don't have a single <laughs> trivet or cutting board that I've made. That's such funny. Wow. <laughs> Hello, oh, Mr. Chris Nealon. How are you? And Doug posted a minute ago that Michelle Nichols has passed away. He's 89. Michelle Nichols, Lieutenant Uhura from Star Trek. Oh. I wasn't a big guy. <clears throat> Mark said, I hung my head in shame. No excuses. And Robin said, you should make one. And Mark said he bumped that to the top of his list.
speaking of Chris Nealon, he mentioned to me the other day that he uh, may be coming to SWAT. How's that coming along, Chris? Or is that still the plan? So I was watching uh, Matt Cremona on Friday night, and he said that he's going to Austin. That uh, he just bought the ticket for it like, on his live show, and his wife said, that, "Oh yeah, he just bought the ticket. He's going, so he knows he's going for sure." Going where? Uh, the Austin, some some show in Austin that he's going to be at the Triton Triton table the whole weekend. Hmm. They're one of his bigger sponsors. And he was he was talking about this brand new monster router that he's got. It's like almost like a three horse router. Wow, it's huge! Yeah, those Triton routers are, are monstrous. I bet my boss is pretty big, but Chris is still in the realm of possibility. Oh, what's Robin asking? Oh, Get she's it. not asking anything. She's she's oh. Hey John, is is that MDF board from Dollarama? Yeah. No, I uh, I picked this up at uh, <clears throat> and like I She's... said, uh, so it where uh, mo most home dealers are set up the same way. So if you go down the aisle that has uh, uh, all your laminated boards on it, go right to the back where the where the saw where the panel saw usually is. They're on you usually up on the left hand side, and there's like three or four different styles. Of this hardboard, and this is just a flat, plain hardboard. Uh, <clears throat> Robin's hitting the sauce tonight, and, it was, and Doug uh, says, "So when Billy, Billy said, I mean, Doug says, so when Billy loses it laughing, we'll all know why." Robin. <laughs> yeah. Robin says, "What do you mean? What, what's what? Some kind of mosquito festival?" <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, Greg. Uh, no, Southwest Association of Turners. It is. The second largest wood turning event in the country, maybe the world. Uh, AAW is a little bit bigger member wise, but uh, they still have about the same kind of turnout that SWAT does. It's the last weekend in August every year. <clears throat> I go every year, yeah. I've already got, I've, I made, I made my, I bought my registration and, and reserved my hotel room and paid for it back in May or April, as soon as I could. So as long as everything goes well and nothing out of the ordinary yeah. comes up. Good right. Hello, Wade. Wade says, I have 50 sheets of wood made from rice dust arriving next week. Plywood. Really? Would that would uh, would it still be considered plywood if it's made up from various laminations of rice husks? husks? Well, like, I would. Like, I think it'd be more like more like papyrus, though. Well, or or maybe. Uh, Let's see now, I know the uh, the wood I used yesterday. For our scroll off thing, um, maybe more like high density uh, fiber board, maybe. See, so I the, don't know. Uh, the, the the plywood I used yesterday for our pattern, it basically has a, a top layer of bamboo on it, and then, but I, I don't like this this the center layer is is like a darker color and it runs right. all the way through. I think that's some sort of luon almost, but probably. But, but the backer is like a Baltic birch, so like a Baltic birch, Luan, Baltic birch, and then a top layer of, uh, um, uh, what did I just say it was, uh, b bamboo. Oh, cool. Where do you get that? Uh, it, it's actually subfloor. It's uh, subflooring. Oh. Uh, it's quarter inch subflooring from uh, Home Depot. Wow. So it's cheap. They, like, you know, if you're looking for an al alternate alternative to Baltic birch, it actually doesn't seem to have any. Doesn't seem to have any voids in it. No, uh, everything I've cut out of it that doesn't seem to have any voids in it. Um, but the, the 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 one the one problem is, if if you're doing small tight turns in it, it does yeah. it does chip it does chip on the front side. Oh, okay. But uh, this has also been this has also been in my shop for probably 
two years, so it's pretty dry, too. Oh, yeah. Okay. Robin said she ordered some Baltic birch plywood. <laughs> Rice House Mark said, one of the crackers. Mark said it's in the south. <laughs> Craig. Uh, Mosquito <laughs> he said it looks like Wade said it looks like MDF. Not good. Mark says dinner bell back in a few. Chris said more like bamboo? Question mark. Uh, Wade said but can be used outside. Really? I, w I wonder what kind of resins they're using. That would be interesting to know. And like how hazardous is it, you know, the sawdust of it? Because MDF, especially the stuff that was made with formaldehyde, is really bad. I think there was a ruling that they had to stop using formaldehyde in it, though. <clears throat> don't, like, I don't know, people can correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm sure. Yeah, that I'm, I don't know. I think they had to stop using formaldehyde in it. Wade said it's a polymer. What's it like cost wise, Wade? <clears throat> are you going to intarsia those or are you going to? Uh, no, so what I was thinking of was uh, um, using crayon. Oh, I got you. So, so what I'm doing, so my, my next step on these, when, once I get them all cut out, because uh, I'm double stacking them, so I got a backer, so I got uh, the full backer, and then the front one with the pattern on, I'm going to cut all the white out, so that I'll be left with all the all the black the black line outline will be on there, and yeah. then I'll be I'll be I'll prime and paint them. Because they're MDF, so I'm not worried about them. So I'll prime and paint them, stack them. That way, I'm left with a quarter inch, quarter inch front layer, right. and I'll, I'll 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 melt wax. Oh, cool! I'll cram yeah, that, it with all yeah, that'll be, that'll be that'll be cool. And then I'll seal it with uh, um, uh, po po poly. Yeah. Chris said I use formaldehyde all the time at work. Cough, cough. <laughs> <laughs> it's a wrong, wrong. <laughs> ah, Chris, the wrong. Oh yeah, my lord! It's the same formaldehyde, but it's the wrong formaldehyde. <laughs> yeah, I used to use formaldehyde for uh, preserving biological samples, so I know what he's talking about. Uh, Wade said that. they have won all kinds of awards for innovation. Eighty dollars a sheet for quarter inch. Yeah, see, this is rare. You guys never really see me. You guys never see me stack cut stuff. You guys never see me uh, right. paint wood. You guys never see me do all kinds of stuff. I'm doing on these ones. Eighty dollars a sheet for quarter inch. That still sounds a little high, doesn't it? Five by five sheet. Doesn't that still sound a little high, John? Oh, that's right. I got to build another dinosaur bank, too. Is this thing on? Enough, uh, enough ornaments to build two more dinosaur banks. That's a set of three <coughs> inch plywood. So oh, Chris like said pattern, that would be phenol. Different molecules. The router pattern for those that I made. But related. Three eighth plywood. It was so much easier to run on the router table with the pattern. Three eighths, three eighths router patterns. That cut how much scrolls off. <clears throat> is is that a full uh, four by eight sheet, Wade? It's on building. It would be fennel. Wade says it's expensive, but it's worth it. Yeah, phenol, not to be confused with fennel. Fennel. Uh, it is expensive, but worth it. Why is it worth it? Because it's a renewable resource. Because it's made from rice. <laughs> Greg said John's on another show. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Actually, you know, like I, I miss doing shows. I think I should do them more often, but you know, like like I said with, with my job last week. Well, that's one of the reasons I'm here is because you do these so rarely anymore. 
Oh, yeah, I suppose. <clears throat> yeah, I, you know, because people got so bored of me all the time. Oh, I boo. I made long six hour shows every day. Wade said, yeah, four by eight sheets. Cool. What happened to your audio? Your audio sounds different now. Does it? No, it's me. Never mind. I bumped my, my volume control on my. Oh, no wonder you weren't answering me. Because I said, I think $80 a sheet sounds a little steep, doesn't it, to you? Um, no. Well, see, I know the, uh, uh, the five, our five by five quarter plot Baltic birch plies five by five sheets. I think they're at about $72 now. Okay. So it's comparable, but <clears throat> I think I heard, I heard the wood price is rushing <clears throat> down again. Oh, probably. Well, Wade said it won't delaminate. Cool. No. Oh. But I do know uh, fuel's gone down. Yes, some. Because our fuel, uh, see, because I know uh, uh, there's one fuel place uh, just outside, just outside town here. It's about 15 minutes away. That uh, they're they're fueled. <laughs> they're, they're still using an old no Novik uh, um, Mylar scroller, scroll Mylar scroller price changer. Because mm -hmm. they're too cheap to freaking buy a new digital one. But uh, the thing is, is that they're uh, uh, because because the, the sensors are gone on it, and the uh, on the side of the scroller, it, it's got lines that that designate what number to stop at. So that's gone. Those the, those are all rubbed off as well. So basically, we're out there every other week, changing the price by hand on their their freaking stupid gas price boards. That's crazy. And I know the last the last time we changed it, we went from one. It, well, it was it was up to almost one ninety one ninety something, and then we like one you know then one we put it down to one eighty four, then one seventy two, and then one sixty four, and I think last week it went down to one forty two. So they had dropped the whole twenty cents. So still, you know, let's say let's say one fifty, uh, three six bucks a gallon still, right? <clears throat> Won't delaminate. We weren't. We are What are you talking about, Robin? Rob, what are you talking about? When you when you said yeah, everybody got bored oh. from all my shows, oh. and she said we weren't bored. <laughs> Well, yeah, because I was on all the time. Now, Robin's on all the time. So, Robin took up all my slack. <clears throat> and, well, actually, she hasn't been on that often lately. I know. She's been on a lot less than she used to be, though. Mm -hmm. She was on a lot more. So, and Robin, you start doing one of my shows. It's 166 here. Yeah, but that's on You guys get double the taxes, though. We only, we, we only have provincial tax. We have, uh, sorry, we only have GST. We don't have PST. <sighs> So we only got it's only a six percent tax instead of what is it Ontario eighteen eighteen percent tax. Yeah, Robin, how did your uh, how did your bowl turn out? I didn't I, I didn't I didn't stay for the finish of it, but I was there in the beginning. Did you end up doing what <clears throat> I had to do, or did you end up just working off your pattern that you had? She worked off the pattern that she had. It, it, it came out pretty nice. Yeah, so she hadn't glued it together yet. It's, it ended up being like five and a half inches tall, though, right? Like oh, taller than that, tall. maybe. What, was she uh, using it, half inch? There's yeah, she was using half inch, and there's. What eleven layers? Yeah, I counted eleven. So that would be five and a half. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> and it's, uh, I think, about twelve inches wide. Cool, cool. Glue it up. Oh, tell me you're going to paint it. Are you going to paint it, Robin? She better not paint it. 
you know, you know she's either going to paint it uh, like a pearl, pearl white, make it look like a spider web, or she's going to paint it black. But you, you know, you know, she's going to putting spider web on there, right? Well, I don't know. She's planning on giving it to her dad. So, uh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, Greg, we 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 were fighting the uh, the carbon tax for so for so long, and uh, we we dropped we dropped six cents off of our uh, six cents off per liter on our gas at, at the gas price. We, at, even though the federal government forced us to put it on there, so they, they, they're like, no, we're we're dropping it, dropping the six cents carbon tax off of there. So it's, it was still lower, and then um, they gave us rebate. They're giving us month monthly rebates on, on our our gas bills, for the house house as well, because because the the transmission costs were so high from uh, Aquaterra. Yeah, Doug. Doug, stop encouraging her to paint wood. Paint it, paint it, paint it, paint it black. <laughs> She said she won't. She won't. <clears throat> she's she's been watching too much Blazing Saddles lately. He, he said chicken. Robin said, I want to make another one, but a different one. Another one, but a different one. <laughs> Robin went bok, bok. <laughs> Being a chicken, that is. Yeah. See, and, and, and Robin, the thing is, is that you could take any pattern and make it into a bowl. Um, like, like it, it, uh, so your, 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 bo your bottom centerpiece needs to be like almost perfect and like i said just use a washer thing is so if you make a snowflake like like make, make like a perfect snowflake for your bottom piece then just use a washer around that for your for your next layer washer around that one for your next layer wash around that one for your next layer that way they'll all stack up the way you need them to yeah and just just alternate them one quarter turn every time or you know uh like even if you take the same pattern <clears throat> You can take the same pattern as as long as like not not a not a symmetrical pattern. Uh, if you take take each piece, it, if you turn them an eighth of a turn, and then do them a quarter of a turn, or tur or alternate them back and forth, it gives you total total different designs every time. There's so many options just for one simple pattern. But you can do any anything though, like like you just take uh, do like a mouse or a snowflake or a cross or a unicorn or whatever for for your bottom layer, and just just take a washer around that, uh, at least a quarter inch if not a half inch. <clears throat> a wash a washer, Robin a washer a flat washer. Um, then I go in here. I got a whole bunch of washers here. A washer. A steel washer <clears throat> because I got like so many different size washers that I use depending on what thickness you want for your outside edge right <clears throat> right so like I said so <clears throat> pattern and just put a pencil in it yep Bob Lee just did a demo a quick a quick demo on that see uh, it's, see. it's a YouTube short See, and the thing is, depending on what size washer, will give you different size, different size edges on them. <clears throat> See, they're all they're all different, various size edges depending on the thickness of, of the edge of your washer. <clears throat> and because it's round, it gives you perfect edges all the way. Like when you got square edges or rounded edges, it, it makes it a perfect, 
overlap or overlay all the way around it. Someone that cleans things with a washer. Yeah, uh, your washers are usually beside your dryers. <laughs> Just saying. You can use anything. Uh, you can even use a roll of tape. Uh, use, a, use a roll of Teflon tape. So that, that gives you a good half inch all the way around. Um, just use a roll of tape. Use a roll of packing tape, right? Like if it, depending on how thick your tape is, but it, it's it, it'll be the same thickness all the way around. So it doesn't matter what you use. So you have something round. So, if I did, Robin, if I did a series of instructional videos, like how to apply your pattern to your wood, it would be one video. Another video would be how to do an overlay, how to do backers, how to do uh, stack cutting, and how to do whatever. <laughs> we have a, we'll do this video. There'll be short videos, like two to five minutes. So we wait. If we are patient, we come this way. Sooner or later. Today, I've had to pick up primer and paint. I want to use Krylon flat, flat or gloss. I use gloss. What's playing in the background? <laughs> Do what? What's playing in the background? Uh, my great grandkids are watching some Spider Man cartoon. Oh, it's fine. I was just trying to figure out what it was. <clears throat> So I don't want to get you copyright struck. <clears throat> but if I talk enough. If your watcher if your watcher goes ka chunk ka chunk ka chunk Robin, then you probably have something wrong with it. Just saying. You don't do your laundry by hand, Robin? Come on. Like the old washboard and soap out, go down the river. <clears throat> well, it it lasted pretty good. My I charged my battery to 100%. I unplugged it and 
Got a new battery on my laptop. I'm testing it. I haven't had a battery on my laptop for probably six years. <clears throat> Died on me. It wouldn't take a charge. I just pulled it out. Yeah, well, this one you can't pull out. Oh. And it was really swollen. <laughs> projects they got working on out there anyway what's what what's everybody out in the chat or oh, what projects you got oh. work out there uh mark is working on some homemade fish and chips <laughs> it. yeah go ahead rub it in mark actually it's kind of ironic because i know i asked carrie what's this up and she says Sticks and tater tots. <laughs> Terry's like, why? And I said, I was just wondering how long I was going to be on for. <sighs> no, it takes too long to smoke, Robin. Oh. As much as I love smoking stuff in my smoker, I think homemade fish and chips would be better. Are you coming to give me a hug? Come here. <laughs> Wait, give me a hug. Baby. I love you, Puddin'. My great grandbabies. She is a cutie. How many kids do you have again? You got like five kids. I have five kids, yes. We have five grown children. And 15 grandkids and two greats. Wow. Mark said, Linda changed it up on me, Robin. We'll have some brisket tomorrow. Uh, Mark said, getting back to setting up my dust collection and spoil board since I got my AC situation taken care of. That's good, Mark. Uh, Doug said, how do you keep it lit, Billy? <laughs> Very funny. It's electric. It stays lit by itself. Um, talking about my smoker. Yeah. As much as I like stuff from my smoker, I said I'd rather have homemade fish and chips. Anyway, uh, <laughs> Mark said they're hard to get started, Doug, but once you do, they burn hot. Yeah, they do. And Robin said, I don't get it. Then she said, never mind. <laughs> Doug said, I have a smoker, Mark. <laughs> yes, Doug. I know you have a smoker. He was just being funny. Oh, I thought he was talking about smoking fish. Smoked fish sounds pretty good, actually, too. 
I haven't put, I haven't smoked anything in or fish wise. I haven't smoked any fish in my smoker. But she said I'm hungry. But uh, Doug said he's doing a three two one on a rack of ribs tomorrow. I, I do. I don't know what a three two one is. I do love smoked fish though. Smoked salmon's really good, and I happen to know where I can get some. So, and that would probably be soft enough for me to eat because baked fish is. So I may get me a big fillet of salmon and throw it in the smoker in the next day or two. And my wife's a timer or alarm on her phone's going crazy. Hold on, I gotta go silence that. Doug said he smoked salmon before. It wasn't too bad, but it was also blackened. <laughs> Steve, I knew somebody was going to come up with something like that. She sets an alarm every night because if she doesn't, she forgets to take her meds. Uh, Mark said, I smoke salmon. Had trout on my smoker. Smoked salmon is one of my favorite things. Yeah. When we were in Alaska, my wife's uncle used to smoke salmon, and it was yummy. Uh, uh, Steve C. said, I could never get the papers to stay rolled when he tried smoking fish. Keep getting wet. <laughs> yep. Uh, Wade said, "See the picture I sent you, Mark." Oh, okay. And Wade, Mark said, "Let me go look." I wonder how cod would smoke. Oh, I couldn't even tell you. I have some cod in the freezer. Doug said Alaska. Michigan's much closer, Billy. Yeah, but Michigan doesn't have uh, king salmon. In fact, I don't think they have any Atlantic salmon at all. What kind of salmon do you have in Michigan? And Robin's trying to be cute. She said, I thought they baked Alaska, not smoked. Hello, <laughs> yes, I know. I, I know you got salmon in the Great Lakes, Doug. But uh, aren't the Great Lakes still rather polluted? No. The, uh, the nuclear power plants keep everything down. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, the amount of lead and mercury in the fish coming out of the lake, uh, Great Lakes scares me. Well, I don't know. When uh, every time I go to every time, it, well, it, it, pretty much every time I go to Windsor, uh, they usually have uh, fresh white fish on the menu down. Well, it's actually in Amherstburg. Uh, fresh whitefish on the menu, and there's a guy down at the pier pulling whitefish out of, out of the river. The fruit river. Hmm. Doug said, "Yes, we do. We have steelhead Atlantic." Yeah. Oh, and he said, "No, I'm assuming he means the the lakes are not still polluted." Mark said, "I think cod would be too mild a fish for smoking, Billy." Make fish and chips with cod. Yes, Mark, but I can't because of the breading. It's not soft food. I have to have soft food, stuff that I can mush with my tongue because I just had oral surgery and I'm not allowed to eat anything that's not soft. All right, Doug said we have Chinook and Coho. Okay, that's silver and red. A silver salmon and red salmon. Uh, 
batter dip, not breaded. I know, Mark, but it's if it's right, if it's done right, the batter's still a little crunchy. No, I snoozed it for her. Beer batter and panko. Well, I'm not worried about the copyright. I'm worried about it being annoying. Oh, that's fine. Okay. Uh, Wade says, we have Atlantic salmon here in, in Atlantic Canada. Well, duh, Wade. Okay, so was that $80 Canadian price, Wade? Yeah. Aha. What exactly is that would that that fly called, Wade? I want to look it up and see if I can get it down here. Doug said they have pink salmon too. Now the the all salmon is good smoked, but pink salmon is pretty much only good smoked. Uh, fresh VC smoked salmon nuggets. And Doug said lake trout are really big. Brown trouts, yes, usually they are. <laughs> Robin said, wait, are you in Canada? And then she said, wait, did I know that already? <laughs> yeah, you did know that already. <clears throat> Mark said, we catch steelhead, coho, chinook salmon here in the river by my house. Oh, yeah, Mark. You lucky bugger. Yeah, gotta catch them before Well, it, it, what, what time of year is salmon season in Michigan, Doug, so I can come see you? We can get some serious fishing in. Mark said, not to mention rainbow trout, brown trout, tiger trout, cutthroat trout. Well, you got one of them fancy mate cards and fish year round. <clears throat> what, what about Dolly Varden? Huh? 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 You were talking about whitefish a while ago, John? White fish out of the Detroit River. My, there, there's a my, my wife's uncle used to go halibut fishing uh, south of Kenai, out in the out in the uh, Cook Inlet, I guess, or south of the Cook Inlet, and he would catch what he called she fish. He'd bring back halibut and this really, really white meated fish that he called she fish. And that was some of the best eating fish I ever put in my mouth. And I still to this day don't know what it is. It's called Acre from Modern Mills. Thank you, Wade. Oh, yeah, halibut is yum. I love halibut. And he taught my wife to make a, a a batter for it that you can put beer in. You don't have to. And she started using that same batter to fry chicken, Mark. Let me tell you. Oh, my God. I have never eaten better fried chicken in my life. <laughs> and I want some right now so bad. <laughs> <laughs> when you have your next uh your next big fish fry i don't know how my mouth has to get well first you know you could always put in a blender oh hell to the no <laughs> the fat boy ain't eating baby food <laughs> <laughs> unless, unless i mean unless that's my absolute only choice I don't want that already been chewed stuff, even if it's been machine chewed. I'm I'm not an alley -oop. Oh 
<laughs> Mark said halibut flounder. So, yep. Wade said wow. Mark uh, said I feel you. I can tear up some fried chicken. Yeah, Barbecue chicken too. That's yeah, that's I'm, 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 go ahead. That's what I was dreading when I first got my dentures that I wouldn't be able to. I wasn't able to eat steak and freaking everything else. And that's like, yeah. after about a week and a half, I'm like, all right, let me try steak. Yeah. I am hungry for steak. Give me some freaking meat. <laughs> yeah, it worked out pretty good. So, yeah. yeah, good. My wife made barbecue chicken last night in the Ninja Foodie. It was pretty good and tender enough that I could eat it. Wow. Or soft enough that I could eat it. Because they say that I can eat canned tuna and I can eat canned chicken because that's soft enough. Yeah. So um, I basically shredded that barbecued chicken and poured some of the barbecue sauce from out of the Ninja Foodi on top of it and juiced it up good. And it was great. And I can eat mac and cheese. But I don't want to spend the next two weeks eating nothing but mac and cheese. <laughs> yeah, but, so you know, there's so many different flavors of mac and cheese now, though. That's true. But, I mean, you know, you got to do what you do. Or got to do what you got to do. And... Yeah. Mark said, I've been eating steak, chicken, ribs, you name it. I'm still using my immediate dentures, so I have to take smaller bites. But, yeah, well, the, the, I have, I can't put it in right now because the swelling uh, from the dental surgery, from the extraction, but uh, I, they gave me a temporary plate. The only problem is uh, I, they said, don't eat with it and don't bite anything with it ever because it's just thin plastic and it'll snap so i'm like oh crap but that's okay for the next few months i'll be cutting up anything i eat whether it's a hamburger or a taco uh just for the next uh week and a half now i can't eat anything but soft food because they don't want me to they don't want me to run the risk of ending up with a dry socket and stuff like that. Greg said, wiener flavored mac and cheese. <laughs> uh, I can get Vienna sausages. Those are soft enough. I think oh, I can eat no, them. No, it's not the same. But... Uh, Mark said, yeah, when I first had my extractions done... I was no mashed potatoes and mac and peas. Lots of boiled or scrambled eggs. But see, I hate mashed potatoes. That's the thing. I have. If I eat mashed potatoes, I have to load them up with mayonnaise and shredded cheese. Then I can almost tolerate it. But I don't like mashed potatoes. She said, that's it. I'm going to make tacos still yeah. well. <laughs> My favorite food. You're going to go make my favorite food. Thank you, Shay. What is it about these strollers getting hungry when you talk about food? I, I don't know. Mark said, Vienna sausages are tools of the devil. <laughs> <laughs> I told my wife to go buy me some deviled ham. Oh, I was, I was just going to say, I was just going to mention deviled ham. Yeah, I, I told her, get me some deviled hams. I said, I said, I'm gonna, I'll be eating tuna and I'll be eating canned chicken. So, go get me some deviled ham. That's about the same, and, and I can eat that. And so she looked, and the store didn't have any. What? No. No deviled ham. I'm like, oh crap. We 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 always had in 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 the cupboard. There was always deviled ham. Uh, the two the two different kinds. There was the the white package and the red package. Yeah. Uh, there was always mussels, oysters, uh, crackers of all kinds. Um, you know, because my, my parents were always throwing parties and stuff like like the social social parties and stuff like that. It was always relishes, uh, like 
the stuff for the relish tray. So you're right. Uh, bread and butter pickles, uh, those freaking, those stupid pickled onions, uh, pickled cauliflower, the worst. Uh, sweet, sweet mixed pickles, basically, right? I, I, I actually like uh, pickled cauliflower if it's the spicy kind. Yeah. Uh, mustard, John, mustard pickles, I, mean, I, could, I could, can get into those. Greg said butter and garlic on mashed buds. And Mark said, I do ma my mashed potatoes just like I do my baked potatoes. Lots of butter, sour cream, and bacon. Yeah, that would work too. And then Chris is being the devil. He said, Billy, try some granola. Uh, uh, Granola's not soft food, Chris, you goober. <laughs> oatmeal, hello, hello, Liz. Now, I can't have oatmeal. Isn't that in, Quaker instant oatmeal, though? Oh, Sunny oh, Boy. Yeah. Sunny Boy. You can have Sunny Boy. I don't know what that is. Oh, Sunny Boy is like it. It's like grown up pablum. Oh, like pablum. God, no. <laughs> like pablum for Adam. No, no. And no, just no. I'll I'm doing some turner steaks and some boost steaks. I'll take that's about as far as I go. Uh, Robin said, "What's deviled ham?" It's basically the like pate. Yeah, it's 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 a very very finely minced. I mean, like very finely minced ham. They probably make it from all the ham cutoffs. I had to guess, but it's it's just like. A ham that's been run through a blender and it's it's a pate sort of really but when i was a kid i loved it and my mom i didn't it made good sandwiches uh mark said devil ham is good same with potted meat never cared much for potted meat i like the devil ham but i don't like potted meat chris said corn on the cob now he's just being an ass <laughs> Have you seen that video where, where they smoke a watermelon? Yes, and it's absurd. But it's supposed it's supposed to, but they put the barbecue sauce and spices and everything on it, and it's supposed to taste like steak. And there's no way. Yeah, it's supposed no. To taste there's, like steak. I know, but there's, there's you cannot convince me that a watermelon is going to taste like a piece of steak. Uh, Doug said, "Oh, go make some Jello, Billy." I hate Jello, Doug. <laughs> There's always room for J-E-L-L-O. -L -L no, I hate Jello. I can't stand the texture. It makes me want to puke. Well, you got to put uh, uh, you got to put fruit cocktail in it, though. Yes, Mark. Boneless uh, sardines is what I have, and they're good. Kippers are okay. I can eat them. Robin said, "I like corn on the cob, going in, but not going out." LOL. Oh, Robin. Why did I even read that? Um. Ludica fish. Chris said, ouch. Oh, no, I ain't eating that either. Uh, Doug said, I ate corn on the cob the other day, Robin. You'll you'll find it next month, Doug. <laughs> <laughs> Steve Nealon said, when Robin asked what uh, the old ham was, Steve Nealon said, it's ham baby food. Uh... <laughs> I like it with lots of butter and salt. What, corn on the cob? I like it with lots of butter and the way they do Mexican street corn. That is so yummy. Jello pudding. I don't like pudding either, Greg. What? No. I, there's something about the texture. I can't stand it. Doug said, starve then. <laughs> I am. Chris said, Robin, you're not supposed to eat the cob. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, th th that would be pretty rough coming out, Chris. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> oh, my. <Lord. laughs> I can't see to read. Mama warned me about eating pear, pear, pear and apple seeds, but she didn't say anything about watermelon seeds. Uh -huh. <laughs> Mark, Mark said it might taste like steak if you're pregnant. 
interesting. She said, reminds you of college, Billy. <laughs> I think I said hello a while ago, Liz, but just to make sure. Hi, Liz. Hey, Gra hey Josh. Hey, Josh. Uh, Doug said, there you go. You said it. Go to the baby food section, Billy. <laughs> no, I ain't doing baby food. Jerry, did you get all your LED boards done up? Mark said, picky some of gun, ain't you? <clears throat> I, I can eat peanuts without my teeth, too, Doug. It's just not right now because I can't have anything that hard with my stitches. Robin said, I'm going to pee my pants. So go pee, silly. <clears throat> Josh said, what in the world did I walk into? Huh. Jerry said, still going. Jerry Brown, that R. Jerry said, I have to rebuild the control box before I can even walk on the boards. Had to use the power converters for a job. Greg said, peanut butter. Yep, that's soft enough I can eat. Take forever to wash it out of my mouth. I'd be like a dog. <laughs> yep. But <laughs> Doug said English, Jerry. <laughs> I understood what he meant. Oh, the corn cob thing got me, Chris. That was funny. Jerry said, we have a backup of four to five months so far on LED segments. Oh, crap. I was going to look that wood up. Now I got to go back up and find Wade's what it was. Oh, I can't remember what he said. I don't either. I was too busy laughing. So if I miss your comment, hang on. I'll get there, but I got to go back and look for Wade's. Back with four to five months of these segments. Well, I know uh, we're actually on six months oh, back order for Acre full, full digital boards. Yeah, Acre from, from Modern Bible. Mills. Okay, I'll remember that now. I heard Chris said, "I try to please Billy." <laughs> <laughs> and Mark says, "Sounds to me you have the perfect work for me. Yeah, I'm allowed to do that and I've got a freezer full of it. I'm probably going to have some here in a minute. I had cottage cheese and canned peaches for dinner. Got a can of extra cher very cherry Del Monte food cocktail. Cherry used to buy me like little cans of uh, uh, pears and peaches and stuff. I'm like, no, you gotta buy the big can. He goes, why? Like, we're not allowed to eat that. I said, no, but I'll eat it all. Yeah. I'll take all the drain all the juice into a glass first, and then I'll eat all the peaches or eat all the pears out, and then I'll drink all the syrup after. She goes, "That's not very healthy." I said, "I was not looking for healthy. The, he the healthy part it, it is in the, the fruits." Yeah, well, I like canned peaches. Uh, <clears throat> they got to be in syrup though, not water. Yes. I, I like canned peaches and I like canned pears. I like peaches, period. Canned, yeah. frozen, fresh. Peaches, uh, fresh peaches. Uh, I, I like, and I'm pretty much the same way about. See, like when I was a kid, I used to get sick from eating 
peaches and pears and cherries on my grandfather's farm. We would drive through the farm on the tractor. I would just pull them off and eat them all day long. <clears throat> no, and uh, uh, apricots, too. <clears throat> well, the bad news is it's funny. That product that Wade's talking about is made in the United States. Right. But there's no sellers within 200 miles of me. Robin said, yes, the syrup's too sweet. Yeah, I drank the juice out of the pears when I got done with them. I like the peach juice, too. Mm. Oh, no, I don't like to mix fruit with the cherries. I, my fruit cocktail in a can, I can't stand it. Uh, what? No, I don't like it. It's got, it's got to have extra cherries. Very, very cherry fruit cocktail. It's got to have extra cherries in all of it. <laughs> Jerry said a lot of different, a lot of different off the trees than a can. Well, a lot different off the trees. Well, yeah, there is a lot of different. Am I going to Iowa? You know, I thought about it, Josh, but then my teeth broke and that ate the funds that I was going to use to go to Iowa. So, no. I'm not going to get to go to Iowa. I kind of wanted to. Yeah, I like the cherries best too. Maraschino cherries. I can eat a whole jar. Be That's back. Like Chris said, be back. Have to yank the wart off my thumb. That's why I love Christmas time. When my grandma and my mom used to bake, there'd always be green and red maraschino cherries, like the, the, the big tubs of them. And mm -hmm. I would just sit there and eat them. And the uh, uh, sweet raisins and all the pecans. Or sorry, pecans. <laughs> <laughs> handfuls, handfuls at a time. I would sit yeah. in the kitchen, give them a hug, distract them, reach around, grab whatever, and head out of the kitchen. Robbins, I'm not going to read what Robin said. Be nice. <laughs> Yeah, I know where it... Okay, Windsor. Where what? Well, uh, the F Windsor Plywood distributes it, but they're not telling me a price. But, yeah, that's Canada, though. <clears throat> oh, that's Canada? Yeah. <clears throat> oh. <clears throat> Edna Plywood, is that Canada, too? Never heard of it. <clears throat> Mark said... Oh, wait. Wow, they flew by. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Chris said, Robin. Steve said, see, Billy, that's why we should have socialized medicine. What di what difference would that make? Because it'd be like up here, you only got to pay your uh, deductible on it. So basically well, no, my insurance is going to cover everything, but the temporary, they, so here's the thing. My my insurance would will either cover the temporary plate, or they will cover the new bridge. No. They won't cover both. Well, the well, bridge was five hundred out of my pocket. The, I mean, the the temporary plate was five hundred out of my pocket. The bridge is going to be like six grand. So, duh, no yeah. rocket surgery there. <clears throat> uh, seems like Jerry says. Seems like small things can derail that Iowa trip. Was going to try, but the dog got sick and then fixed. And fifteen hundred later, fifteen hundred dollars later, I'm staying home and catching the Comic Con. Yeah, I hear you, Jerry. Robin said, "What sweet innocent look in parentheses?" Yeah, right, Robin. No sweet innocent look from Robin at all. Mark ever. said, "I was that way with chocolate chip cookies, chocolate chips for cookies." 
I, I don't, you know, it's funny. Uh, I like, I don't like chocolate chip cookies, but I like chocolate chip cookies without chocolate chips in them. Yeah, like the, just the chocolate chip dough. Yes. Yeah. Unless you use only semi-sweet chocolate chips, then I can tolerate it. But the chocolate chips from my, they're, they're just too sweet for me. Uh, we had Comic Con here two weeks ago when when our family reunion was on, and uh, who was here? Uh, the big names was uh, uh, Love Sausage from the Boys. I don't know if you guys caught that on Netflix. And then uh, Lou Frigna was here actually, and uh, uh, oh, one of the guys oh. one of, one of the guys from Fubar was here. Steve, Steve said, "I seriously hope you could hear the sarcasm in that." No, I I, I didn't, Steve, but that's okay. I forgive you. Mark said, "Look, looks like there's a place about a hundred miles away from me that has it. I'm still looking, Mark." Josh said, "Robin, we all know you better than that. Your halo is held up with horns." Mark said, "Y'all are weird." <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming he's talking about the chocolate chip cookies. I, I love the dough. I, I I really do. I like the Toll House dough. I just I, I'm. And unless it's got semi-sweet chocolate chips in it, uh, I only like choco chip cookies fresh out of the oven, homemade. Fifteen minutes later, and yeah, where's the picture? Oh, there it is. There, there's there, there's a current picture of Lou Frigno. Oh, wait, hold on a second. There you go. There's a current picture of Lou Frigno that was at the Comic yeah. Con two weeks ago. Like oh, he cool. still looks like he's in good shape. He's just got a beard though which really oh, cool. 15 awesome. minutes later no i don't know what that means jerry oh, oh 15 so. minutes later you don't like them yeah because they're fresh out of the oven they're nice and soft and you can oh, wad them up yeah soft and gooey and and yeah. like they're then they get rock hard yeah <clears throat> unless they're made right then they don't get rock hard so i was going through a box of pictures the other day and i came across some pictures <laughs> so this is uh 1989 is that you that's me holy hell and 1990 your, your hair was curly as mine 1990 actually mine's a little more curly than that but <laughs> and then here's one from 1994. I beg your pardon. <laughs> it was Halloween. Holy crap, John! <laughs> <laughs> Quick, take a picture of it. <laughs> yeah, no joke. Uh, I don't like cold cookies, says Jerry. Mark said, "I ain't a chocolate chip cookie." <clears throat> If it has anything but semi-sweet chocolate chips, it's perpetrating fraud. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, he said it chocolate chip cookie. If it has anything but semi-sweet chocolate chips, it's perpetrating fraud. I got you. It, it, it's okay, guys. It was Halloween. This is, it was a different time. So says, Jerry, do they last longer than 15 minutes? Welcome back, Larry. Nice fifties haircut that from the first pick says Mark. Like, that was fifties haircut. That was nice. <sighs> Jerry said looks like Rick Roll photo shoot. <laughs> and Greg said John identifies as. <laughs> Mark said, Yep, got that screenshotted. <laughs> I'll send you the pic, but I'm not, I'm not worried about the pic. I can send you the, I can send you the full size pic of it. Like, uh, wait, where is it? Oh uh, my lord, a full body size one. There you go. Wait, there you go. Full body. And I got one with me doing a pose. You, you see my tattoo on my leg, so you know it's me. Like that full length blue crush velvet. Uh, <laughs> oh. 
<coughs> Halloween, man. People dress up all the time for Halloween. Yeah, but most most people don't dress up in drag for Halloween. <laughs> Touch on the big check. <clears throat> yeah, it was a fun time, though. Oh. Okay, Menards has it. That's a little better price. No, and it's sixty-two dollars. It's still sixty-two dollars a sheet. Yeah, that's, that's right, because it's 80 bucks up here, right? Yeah. But then you got to add shipping on top of that. And that's Menards. What, what's Tom Arnold has to do with Comic-Con, Jerry? Darth Maul actor Richard Kern and the Home Improvement Girl. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the preacher from The Walking Dead, and about 50 other people that no one really knows. I did, I did a prom queen about 1994 and Britney Spears schoolgirl <laughs> in 1999. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, Jerry. <laughs> Mervin, I'm looking for uh, yeah, Acre Plywood uh, from what size, Modern what size, what size sheet is it? Is it a 4x8? Yeah. See, that's a good place then. Holy crap. Shipping is three hundred eighty-seven dollars and eighty-two cents. What? That's nuts. That's because of the size of it. I would uh, see if you get it cut down smaller, but. <clears throat> Jerry said, I have no idea why he's going to be there. Tom, Tom Arnold, I guess. Uh, $60 a sheet for plywood is a good price. Yeah, this is the stuff made from rice hulls, Mark. Quarter inch. This is quarter inch. Yeah, home improvement. Mark said he just paid $95 for a sheet of three-quarter inch MDO. Yeah, but that'd be a four-by-eight uh, four sheet, too, though. Wow, 240. Unbelievable. Yeah, that is unbelievable. Wow. Curious to know what a, what an Econo stud is going for now at Home Depot because I know they were they were pretty up there in price too. We 
Was that your belly or were you just groaning? That was me groaning. Uh, two by four, eight foot, uh, dimensional, six bucks a piece now. That's pretty cheap. It used to be uh, up to freaking probably 12 bucks, a, 12 bucks a length. Wow. Yeah, Mark said that was a four by eight sheet, a three quarter inch. Uh, pa, Jerry said, I love the bamboo ply. Made my kitchen out of it, but the price has skyrocketed. That's not a bad price, Robin. She said she gave $35 for eight sheets of Baltic birch, eighth inch by 12 by 12. Yeah, was that Michael's price or Dollarama? <laughs> Where'd you order it from, Robin? She said she got it from Amazon. She says she had it in her birthday wish list and checked it recently. The price went down. Mark said eight foot two before stud is four forty five here at the home improvement store. Man, I mean, it wasn't that long ago. I remember when an eight foot two before stud was like eighty six cents. Wow. Yeah, price is always down there, always been cheaper though. Yeah. Hmm? Probably been a lot longer than you realize. Yep, you're right, Mark. I used to I, I used to go to the store and average out my prices because I know uh two by six by eight foot cedar used to be eight bucks a foot, basically. <clears throat> So if stuff if stuff was still around that price, then I know plywood is still a decent price too. <clears throat> and gas was a quarter a gallon. Yeah. Uh, no, no, Jerry says, and and gas was a quarter a gallon. Billy, it was <laughs> in the thirties. Uh -huh. I just wish that uh, our mills would actually sell lumber because, you know, you, you, you drive by every day and you see all these two by fours, two by sixes, two by eights, all like, you know, eight to 12, 16 foot long, just sitting up on stickers like before or after they come out of the kiln. And then 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 you see them all wrapped and ready to go on a truck to be shipped down to Calgary in order for the stores up here to buy them from Calgary and ship them back up. And yeah. the, the, the mills went like three blocks away. Wow. Uh, Clint Howard was in the original Star Trek series in one episode. <laughs> Robin said, People always say, I remember when ice cream was five cents. Well, I remember when penny candy was actually a penny. Well, I, I remember when I could buy, I, I could walk down to the local store and I could buy a, a full size candy bar and a Coke for a Dr. Pepper for a dime. But I mean, I was maybe in the sixth grade, fifth grade at the time. So that was a long time ago, but we're not talking about those kind of memories. We're going to talk about those kind of memories. When I was in high school, gas was 29 cents a gallon. <laughs> I had, I had, I had my granddad's old 66 Dodge Coronet and I bought from him. He put a hundred and I don't know, 125,000 miles on it when I bought it. I put another 175,000 miles on it 
and I'd pull up into a gas station. They were all still full service back then. I'd pull up into a gas station and tell them to give me five dollars worth of gas and fill up the oil. See, I think when I started driving in '89, in gas was twenty-seven cents a liter. Jerry said a guy I know in town got his paws on some pine trees almost free made himself a pile of two by fours for his next project cool robin said it says clint howard was in the andy griffith show the rocketeer solo a star wars story tar star trek i haven't seen solo yet uh austin powers apollo 13 yes he was in apollo 13 the water mm -hmm, water boy tango and cash and gentle ben and Doug said, none of us are that old, Billy. Well, a few of us are. Larry said, I remember when push-ups were 25 cents. Mark said, my dad would give me a quarter in the gas can, tell me to fill it up for the lawnmower, and bring him back to change. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The cheapest I can remember was 19 cents a gallon, but I was about five at the time. Yeah, I know we'll never see prices drop down again like that, but you know. You know. I'd like to see them drop by half anyway. <clears throat> Jerry said, Billy, comparatively, gas when I had my 73 Pinto in high school was 97 cents a gallon. Yeah, and, and the gas was up to 97 cents a gallon back then, Jerry, because of the, the fake uh, gas shortage or oil shortage. There never was an oil shortage. In the in the mid seventies, like seventy three, never happened. My dad worked in the oil field all my life, and there were tankers full of oil stacked up outside of Galveston. They weren't letting them come in to offload into the refineries. That was a fictitious uh, company greed made shortage Mark said when I started driving it was 55 cents a gallon yeah I remember when we started putting the one dollar digit prices in the got the gas price changers and everybody's all like freaking out going what do you mean yeah. a dollar I'm like it's a test price relax if you know, <laughs> one two three four <laughs> and that was when gas was down at 39 cents a liter. <laughs> what did Larry say that caused that comment? Uh, push up for 25 cents. He remembers when. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> push ups or ice cream, Steve. Come on. No, little push-up pops. There was ice cream. Had a stick. It was in like a toilet paper tube. And had a stick it was a toilet paper bottom. tube, wasn't it? And, and you, I don't know, but it looked like one. And you push it up. <laughs> See, I, I never ate them because I was told that they were made out of to recycled toilet paper tubes. So you, oh, my gosh. Because your parents used to collect them all. I don't know what for. <clears throat> That's funny. Larry said, I wouldn't put one on. I'm not funny. <laughs> remember when Johnny Carson, Mark says, remember when Johnny Carson caused, and then it scrolled up, I got to go, uh, folks to panic by toilet paper by making a toilet paper shortage joke. I do not remember that, Mark. And Robin's going to peer pants again. 
Jerry said, LOL. Yeah, I had to do the dollar meter changeover <clears throat> when it went to two ninety nine. Had to go back and rebuild them all for over five on the dollar digits. Just or they just went digital after that. Now, of course they did. Mark said, everybody needs a hobby, Robin. <laughs> Yeah, Larry. Uh, Jerry. It, it was uh, it was actually before they went digital, and uh, we had, we had to put extra extra zip track for the do the dollar space and g give everybody or two uh, two extra uh, readograph doll one ones for every site, or put a uh, a vinyl number one in place. Wow. Larry said orange sherbet had Fred Flintstone Fred Flintstone on the tube. <laughs> Doug said, we know what push-ups are, Billy, but Steve's story is much better. <laughs> <laughs> Funnier. Time for Robin to change her shirt a fourth time, said Josh. I, I didn't say it wasn't funny. sticking back together. I don't know why. Is it melting back together on you? Yeah. I'm going pretty slow, too. You may not be going slow enough. It works fine for the top section, though. It's not making sense to me. About uh, from about here to here. Hmm. Weird, man. Yeah. Oh, way too slow. No, that stuff really. is it really here. That stuff yeah. melts pretty easy. Yeah, but I've never had this problem before. I wouldn't <laughs> expect it to melt quite that easy. Yeah, I didn't have a problem with the top section or down the one side. Hmm. I never got too much glue on there. Let's try Mark, this Mark said, I do remember eating, getting ice cream sandwiches for 15 cents. I remember when uh, Dilly Bars used to be pretty cheap, though. Yeah. Mark said, can you turn the air pump for better cooling? Yeah, I got it on it right now. Oh, no, he said, sure. turn up the air pump. No, he can't. No. Not on any saw I've seen, anyway. Uh, put some packing tape on to lube the blade, says JJ. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah, oh, that's funny, JJ. Push those buttons. <clears throat> Mervin said, "Maybe change your blade." No, I don't want to change my blade. It's still cutting. <laughs> So what did Charlie run off for? We made him hungry? Uh, either hungry or he got uh, anxious. Oh, he was tired too, apparently. Oh. Jerry said use a spray bottle to keep it cool. Mark said... Which shirt did you change into this time, Robin? No, I because uh, I I get I got to change blades to a bigger blade. That's probably my problem. It's just too small a blade. 
That's fine. Jerry, Jerry said the new one will have more said in it. That's where I'll start drilling out one of these. Ah, papa, 7.30. All right. Uh, how much longer do you guys want me to go on for? That's up to you, dude. It's your show. I know. It doesn't matter to me. I'm not hungry yet. Mark, Mark said, still not buying it. <laughs> oh, hey, John. Yep. Robin cut that bowl with a number one blade, too. Really? Yep. I was uh, kind of figuring that she would have cut the board down in size first. But then I realized it was Robin, and she likes to do things a difficult way. Yeah, well, she, she could have, but she decided she wanted to wrestle with it. I'll be back. I'm going to go fetch me some more water and check the chickens real quick. Yep, yep. So I may have to get fancy with a couple of these when I'm filling them with the uh, crayon. But I know if I like to join one, join the floaters up, though. You know what? No, I'll just I'll leave them separate. I'll glue them down first before anything else. I don't have to mark them. That's all. See you later, Mervin. Have a good night. Oh, see you later, Josh. I oh, see you're all taking off now. back. Hey, Nancy. Fancy Nancy. Actually, I'm thinking I might just cut this one out and we'll call it a night after this one. So probably a half hour. Or right, everyone stay on chat, whatever, it don't matter. But like I said, I'll be on pretty much all day tomorrow. Because, uh, holiday. So, you know, there's not much to do up here for the, uh, Carriages Day Festival. But I know back in Edmonton, there was all kinds of cool stuff to do down there. What's the problem living in a small city with only 63,000 people? But might be like, yes, like yesterday when I got called in at the end of the day.
Oh, Jerry, we got uh, we got one station here that uh, their Novic <clears throat> their Novic uh, Mylar roll changer is uh, not working anymore. The eyes are gone on it. The uh, readers on the side for the numbers are gone. They're, like they're totally rubbed off. And uh, I was telling uh, <laughs> telling the uh, the company uh, Synovus Energy that owns it I said, yeah, you guys might want to get a digital pricer down here for these ones. There's two two pylons, a uh, high rise and a smaller one, and uh, so we surveyed everything up, and they're looking at probably October before the parts come in, before the digital boards come in for it. I'm like, really, really? I'm pretty sure Dactronics has them in stock. Uh, Mark says they're going on a road trip to check out overalls tomorrow. <laughs> Good job, buddy. I'll watch when I'm here. Oh, you, would, hey, Mark, come on in, come on in tomorrow when you're done. <clears throat> Tell us all about your exciting overall purchases and trying on parts. <laughs> and I'm back. All right. <laughs> Mark goaded me into getting ice cream. Oh, of course he did. <laughs> <laughs> What flavor you got? Uh, a little bit of piece of a carton of mint chip, mint chocolate chip, and uh, a bowl of orange dreamsicle. Ooh. No toppings? No. No. No candy sprinkles or anything? Oh, I oh no. No, no, no. Uh, caramel sauce. Nope. Hot fudge. Nope. And Robin said, Yay, the clanking spoon. Mark said, okay, I'll do it from the shop since I now have a cordless headset. Jerry said, yep, they're not fast on the new ones here either. We got rid of our last roller. I ordered a new harness, took on, took so long, get it. When I went to install it, someone changed it to LED style. Nice. And Mark said, feel free to blame me, Billy. I have three daughters. And have been married twice. I'm used to things being my fault. <laughs> yeah, but Jerry, the thing is, we, we, we told them back in March. So, you know, there's no excuse for them not to have it here. And I'm pretty sure Dytronics has them in stock. You know, I can call. I, I, don't, I don't know if you deal with Dytronics at all, but uh, I'm sure I can call Mark. Mark's our salesman, and uh, I'm pretty sure he has them in stock down there anyway. But I know there's, there's another place, another shell station. We got to change out the uh, the digital boards uh, from Able's or from a from old Able ones to new Able ones. Able Media. They're like, well, we haven't had our boards on for like four years. I'm like, yeah, I know. You guys never had your price on. Well, we're changing them every day. I'm like, well, I'd rather change them every day than just let them sit and freaking do nothing. Mark said, I just walk in the house and start apologizing. I didn't do it, and I'm sorry. I know what you mean about three daughters, though, Mark. I have two. I mean, I had three as well. Jerry said, we have a bad issue with the dispatcher sending me. Then a week later, sending the sign, guys. Yeah, 
to you because we're sub subcontracted. We got to deal with everybody else down, down in Calgary. <clears throat> See, but the thing is, is that up here, it's if it's if it's part of the sign, then the sign guys get called. <clears throat> we don't have we don't have people like you up here. Somehow, I don't think Jerry wants to move to Canada. Well, like, like the thing is, there's nobody up here that that has a job like his, <clears throat> because basically, the sign, uh, the sign companies will install canopies and pylons from the ground up, and then the electricians run all the power, and then anything that's not sign related <sighs> gets hooked up by the electricians. Everything that is sign related gets hooked up by the sign guys. <clears throat> we don't <laughs> like the electricians. Like, we don't like the electricians touching our signs. <laughs> because they either don't put enough screws back in, like whether they belong, or they'll break something inside, which they gotta call us anyway. Yeah. Mark said, if more than one met me at the door, my first words were, no, I'm innocent and I'm broke. What do you want? Jerry said the sign guy hits us over 1K per call just to go look. Wow. <laughs> Larry said it's my fault and nothing's done correctly. Standard rates we got to go by. So I know my truck, my truck with two guys is two two eighty five an hour, a minimum one hour charge. We usually there for twenty minutes anyway. So and then calls me to ask what he needs and ask if I have the part. That's crazy. Robin said, me too, Larry, LOL. second there Larry said charge him triple Jerry John Robin wants to know if you have a dust collector, and if so, where is it?
usually don't run it on my shows, so. though. She's probably seen it. She just probably don't remember. Then Nancy says, I usually say I didn't do it, and if I did, you can't prove it. <laughs> So my dust collector is a half half horse, um, half horse, <coughs> half horse dust collector that I got at Princess Auto. Um, out there, you might find one at Busy Bee, maybe. Um, so, oh, uh, can I use this camera? <clears throat> Referring to your dust collector. Yep. Greg said she's in the house. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Give me a second. Larry said, I have dust collector, but I need to get it put together and find a way to put it on the wall to suck the dust outside. <laughs> Mark said, dang, Greg. Okay. You guys still hear me? Yeah. Okay. My camera just went out. I see that. Stupid USBs. <clears throat> I hear it kick in. I can see. I can hear it kicking in. Yeah. To do. To do. We do too. Are you running through OBS? Yeah. Uh, no, I'm just just run through streamer, but I'm, I got I, they're hooked. Their uh, USB connectors are in. Yeah. <sighs> Ah, no, it won't start up. Okay, <laughs> Mark said, nope, here. we can't hear a word, John. <laughs> okay, so just give me a sec. I'll plug this into roughly to my computer here. This one here. If that don't work, you may need to leave StreamYard and do it again and come back. No, my camera should be there now. Nope, not yet. No, no, I just, I just turned it on. Mark said, once you get it stabilized, you might have to leave StreamYard and come back. That happened to me. Ah, there it is. Okay. So, I, I, I see it. So my dust collector, so there's my table saw, or my, my scroll saw. Yeah. There's the stand for my scroll saw right there. Yep. Oh, there's okay. a dust collector. So what 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 I did was I, I, I got the, I bought this attachment for it, which is actually like, like a, a floor attachment mm -hmm. to the floor. And I cut the hole in the bottom of my scroll saw area here, directly yep. underneath the hole there. And then I got the hose running to the half horse dust collection. Right. Now, the thing Those is, things I'll, are pretty loud, though. You know, I'll, I'll, yeah, exactly. I'll turn it on. So it is loud to me. So I don't know if you guys can hear that. Yeah, we can hear it. See, and then basically, when, when I'm scrolling, the dust actually falls. Oh, down in there. Right. Robin seriously needs to attach some kind of dust collection to her Pegasus, but well, doesn't uh, doesn't Pegasus have that 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 hose attachment on the bottom? They have the yes, they do have the attachment on the bottom. Okay, so then all you need is just just a vacuum, like a, a right a small, a small shop back will work. Yeah, the only problem shop backs are so damn loud. Well, see, so but but the thing is, is that with a, with, with a small shop back, the, the 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 really small ones, you can actually just leave it in the box, and just just just, just cut a hole in the in the front of the box for your hose to attach to to your scroll saw. And, <laughs> and, leave, the, and leave the shop back in the box. Yeah, leave the shop back in the box. Oh wow, well, yeah, that would cut down on the sound some. Yeah, exactly. I, that's what I uh, that's what I would do. Otherwise, you can build a you can build an insulated box for it. 
But if 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 it has a dust port on it, then I would just attach a shot back right to it. Should be fine. Jerry said, Steve said, who fired up their jet? Steve said, I mean, Larry, Jerry said the actual one for, for the Excalibur from Seiko was like a jet turbine. Well, it was a cyclone system. It is a cyclone system. He said he sold it and never used it. Mark said, I need to run the hose to my dust collector, then I can start using it. Yeah, see, I, I actually got two of these. Uh, when I bought them, I bought them at Princess Auto. I, like I said, Robin, I don't know if there's a Princess Auto out there. Um, I got my Princess Auto. I think they were 80 bucks a piece. Um, I got them uh, 10 years ago. So I got one hooked up to my scroll saw, and the other one was hooked up over at my my, my dust, my, my sanding center. And uh, all I did was make an attachment for all my different uh, sanders. So it, it, it works on all my sanders, depending on which one I have on at the time. I just switch, switch over the hoses on them. It works pretty good, too. The a small shop back is going to come with a one, maybe a one and a half inch hose she needs. It's got a, I think the Pegasus has a two or two and a half inch connection on it. So she'd yeah. have to have a, she'd have to get an adapter, but. Okay, so I'm going to play my camera tomorrow to make sure I got everything working on my cameras. <sighs> Yeah, I've got the two horsepower Harbor Freight too, Mark, and it's not as loud as what John just turned on. But it's also in the next room, so that helps. See now, what I want, what I want to do though, is hook up my 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 actual dust collection, uh, my uh, uh, general general international. I think it's got a two horsepower on a two horse engine on it. And it's got a uh, four inch, uh, du double four inch port. Right. And I got, I bought, I forget how many I bought, I think I bought eight blast gates for it. So that after I finished the ceiling, I could run all my duct work. And right. I think I'm going to run, I think I'm going to run PVC and I think I'll run a, a grounding, a, a grounding cord along it as well. But uh, I think I'm going to run PVC and then I'll, uh, my drop downs. Uh, uh, my drop downs come a uh, PVC drop down, and then I'll have blast gate, and then I'll have uh flex hose after that. Right, <laughs> well, I use I use PVC sewer pipe for mine, and my oh, entire yeah. shop is plumbed. Is it four inch mm -hmm. or smaller? Yeah, four inch. Mm -hmm. it's I got the I got the two horse. Well, I think down here at the time when I bought my pipe. It was six dollars a ten foot stick. Yeah, I should have bought it when it was freaking cheap, cheap, cheap. But that's just sewer pipe, so it gets cheap. But so I bought forty foot of it, and uh, that was enough with what I already had to plumb out the whole shop. I took my two horsepower Harbor Freight, which is basically just like the one that you've got, John. I took yeah. it apart and I put a uh, Sonata Super Dust Deputy yep. on a bucket, a 35-gallon bucket, cut a hole in the plastic lid, <clears throat> and <coughs> I bolted the dust deputy to that using, for a gasket material, I used an old uh, neoprene mouse pad. And... Then I have, I took the, I took the motor after I took the dust collector completely apart and I took the motor and mounted it to the wall, cut a hole in the wall, mounted the motor and impeller to the wall. So that it blows outside. Yeah. And then I've got a six inch hose that goes from, because there's a six inch hose on the base of the impeller and I've got it dropped down into my Oneida dust deputy. So, and then four inch coming into the dust deputy. So it's, it works great. Wow. I mean, absolutely great. Only blows the finest, the very finest 
of the sawdust outside. It doesn't even build up or collect. I empty that bucket about once a week and I'm good. But it works really well. Uh, Mark says he's dedicating his to the CNC. The shot back works great, fine for table saw and saw at Sanders. Uh, Jerry says I went, I went all out, got the pipe set from Grizzly, cost a fortune, and it's in the yeah, they do. <laughs> I've never used it. <laughs> wow, Jerry. I got the dust deputy sitting on a 55 gallon drum, but the only dust it collects is from sitting. Jay, hey, Jay, how's it going, buddy? So I just, <laughs> I've been on it for three and a half hours. <clears throat> oh, I guess it's, it's hey, early Dennis. There. Is it early there or late there? <clears throat> uh, yeah, so I, uh, I want to get, uh, like I said, I got to get my ceiling fixed. I got to get my ceiling finished. I want new LED. Oh, lights. no, that ain't Dennis. That's wooden things that you. That's yeah. Jay. Yeah, yeah, Jay. And uh, so I want to get my ceiling finished, LED lights up more led lights everywhere and then uh, on a remote system uh, one that works because this, this one keeps breaking down on me I keep going to the plug and i'm plugging them and then uh get my airline set up and my dust collection set up then i'll work on my enclosure for my my dust collection and my my uh air compressor and then i'll work on my miter saw my miter table set up and then my outfeed table and then you know Everything else that what machines, etc., have you guys have bought and never used? Uh, me, the, the only thing that I bought that I haven't used yet, I bought a used uh, old from like the sixties Craftsman radial arm saw, and I haven't mm -hmm. I haven't used it. I plugged it in, made sure it works, but I've got to I've got to build a tabletop for it, and and I haven't used I haven't done that yet. That's the only tool I have that I've never used. I had a radial arm saw that I got from work, and uh, I put a new table on it, uh, pulled it all apart, made sure everything was working on it, greased it all up, and I actually gave it away. I donated it to a small woodworking club. Wow. Uh, cool. The only other the other tool that I do not use in my shop at all would be my jointer. I don't have one of those. Because I bought... Uh, I. I I bought the angle jig for my table saw, so I've been using that instead, and it actually works pretty good. Uh, other than that, um, <laughs> tools I don't use, that's pretty much it. I use, I use everything else. But I also cut down a lot of wood, too. Mm -hmm. I process a lot of wood. So, but uh, drill, drill press, ba drill press, bandsaw, uh, double sliding compound miter saw, router table, table saw. Yep. My air, my air compressor I use all the time, whether it be for air, for well, I use it for air for sanding, um, and uh, pumping up stuff, as pump tires and stuff like that. Um, I use it for my 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 spray table, and then my scroll saw. And uh, all my all my 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 sanders that I have, my 12 inch sander, my one inch belt sander, my oscillating sander, and my four inch or my uh, four by 26 inch flat sander. Yeah, the the one tool that I have that I use the least frequently, and that's because uh, I, if I get it if I'm lucky, I get it started once a year, and it won't run more than 30 minutes, and that's my 16 inch craftsman chainsaw so jerry that stuff you don't know i'm a bad example i have at least 10k and tools and stuff i have yet to use well what is an i-box fill us in on that one jerry i don't know what that is and two two new 3d printers that he's never used mm -hmm. oh he has a ring master he used it once See, I don't have a lathe. I'm not worried about. I'm not worried about getting a lathe. I'm not worried about getting a laser. I'm not worried about getting a CNC. I, I have three lathes, and I use them all three. Now, I, 
I'm actually thinking about getting a laser because there's some stuff that I can use it for. <clears throat> but uh, I honestly, I, I, I think using the laser to put 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 a pattern around the wood would be cool too. <laughs> he, he Jerry has the best box joint jig make made, and he don't use it. That's that's crazy. Incra box joint jig. Wow. Oh, I got, uh, oh yeah. That's another thing I haven't used. I haven't used, I, I've never used my, uh, my dovetail jig that I bought. I was going to start building, bu building boxes and drawers and stuff. And it's, it, I actually, I actually pulled it out of the box, got it set up, tried it once. And that's it. I tried it once. <laughs> so I, I have the Harbor freight box. I mean, dovetail jig. And I used it to make our nightstands. Haven't used it since, but I did pick up uh, a much better one. It's a Porter cable. I almost forgot about that one. I have not used it yet. Um, and one one other item I've never used was my eighty five dollar uh, eighty five dollar corner router bit that I bought. That I thought, oh man, I could build, I could build boxes with this so easy, and uh, I tried it once, and it's sat back in the box. <laughs> what a good waste of eighty-five bucks. All right, Mark, have a good night. All right, Mark, see you later. Uh, yeah, like I said, uh, I'll be on tomorrow. Come on tomorrow. So, like I said, uh, eight o'clock, so three, three and a half hours today. Uh, like I said, tomorrow, because it's holiday here, I'll be on pretty much all day tomorrow. So, hey, good night, Steve. Um, and she says she has an embroidery machine she hasn't used in two years. I want to sell it, but I'm afraid I might need it. <laughs> Steve well, said he has a shop full of tools he never uses. <laughs> I have, uh, I got a lot of, I got a lot of one off one-off tools that i've bought and i've used them and nice, I, I, I do use them but uh the one thing i've not used and I, was, I was talking to steve about this too i bought this uh single point craig jig that's still in the package i think i bought it two years ago and uh i've never used it because i have a biscuit joiner which i i i, I try if I can help it in any way, I try to avoid buying single use tools because I mean, they just, they take up room in the shop. You use them maybe once a year and they just take up space. And I, I'd rather have tools that I can do multiple things with if I can get them. <laughs> Steve says, thanks for the ability. Tacos. Yum. Uh, yeah, the uh, uh, lock, lock miter router bit, brand new. As Jerry says he's got two. Yeah, like I, said, I, I, I set my router bit up once. My, my router table, set my router table up once with it. Uh, locked it in, got it all zeroed in, and then freaking did one cut, and it didn't work for me. So like, okay, I'll set this aside for now, and I'll work on it later. And I've never gone yep. back to it. Yeah, go ahead, rub it in, Shay. And you're welcome. Yeah, I thought, I thought Steve said that. Shay said tacos. Yeah. I have... <clears throat> the only Craig jig I have... Well, it's not really a jig. I have the Craig... Uh, oh, yes, it is a jig. Pocket hole jig. I've got the one in the middle. I don't have the powered machine, but I've got the... And I have, I've got a box full of hand planes. I use one of them regularly. My block plane I use a lot. But my other hand planes, I haven't finished sharpening or uh, they're all antiques. I need I sharpening. One of them needs a new tote. One of them needs a new, you know, the frog's fine. The front handle 
what's the front handle called? The little knob. Uh, I don't remember. It needs a new one of those. And I have the Craig 5, K4, I think. I mean, K5. Farrell just came in my head. I don't think that's what it is. No, the tote is the one in the back that's shaped like a saw handle. The But the front one, I don't remember what it's called. Cobalt Planes. Uh, it's a brand I've never heard of. I usually all get all, all my planes are all Stanleys. <clears throat> Most of mine are Stanley's. The my, one of mine, it's oh lord, I can't remember what that's called. It's a good 16, 18 inches long. It's a craftsman. The sole is fluted. Um, like a leveling plane, yeah, maybe. Jerry said, if only Billy had a lathe. <laughs> the only lathe, I don't have a steel, I don't have a steel lathe, a metal lathe, but my three wood well, lathes. You don't, you don't have a milling machine? Come on. Nope. Don't have one of them either. Now, I used to want one. I used to want a mill, a uh, three dimensional. Yep. When I had, when I was, uh, making kitless fountain pens because I was going to use it to make my own uh, metal parts. Yep. But I moved since then and I quit doing pens, so or I don't do as many. Yeah, you need a big shop for a milling machine, though. That's a big piece of equipment. Piece of equipment. It is. Well, the the small ones. I was the the one I was looking at was the that's three dimensional one that the Harbor Freight had. That's like I don't know, maybe two foot by three foot. Yeah, really. Yes, Jerry. I know it's a wood part. Oh, that's why he was saying if only Billy had a lathe, I can turn. Yes, I will turn one. <laughs> I just haven't got around to it yet. Uh, the yoke? No, that's in the back. <laughs> Jerry said he's still looking at a Tormac. That's a sharpening system. Oh, Nancy said she poured her first set of resin dominoes today. Excited to see how they come out. Cool, Nancy. Cool. Did you get? A, or did you use a uh, silicone mold for those? I'd see how those turn out. <clears throat> she said, "I've been watching people turn diamond pointing, diamond painting resin pens. They look so cool." Hmm. I saw. I saw Herb was back. In time for me to say goodbye. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, Tor no, not the Tormac sharpening system. Jerry said the Tormac milling machine. Ah. Any chest piece molds, Jerry? Uh -huh. <laughs> Yeah, uh, one of my projects I really want to do is 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 a, is a chess set on the scroll saw. Like I know Jeff Marie's done like seven or eight different chess sets on the scroll saw. I just don't know which one I like to do though. I think I might design one of my own. I've always wanted to turn a chess set, but I haven't come up with it. I haven't seen the plans for one that I really like well enough. How would you turn the knight though? Um. The, the knight's pretty much the only one that you can't really do on a lathe. Yeah, if you use the traditional uh, horse head for the knight. But there's even a way around that, kind of. But it would require some sawing. 
uh, you turn the rough shape and then cut the sides off of it and do some carving on the back. But I, I saw one that was had a pretty cool looking night, but. I can't remember where I saw it or what I did with the pattern if I had it. Yeah, because I know I know I know Sue May's got a nice chest set. Um Steve Good has a chest set out too. Um I have I have one of the, the double sided double sided chest sets in my my double my compound cut book. Um you see you see them all the time in the in the magazines and stuff too. But I want to build a. I want to. I want to build a really nice chest set with like all kinds of inlay and like even like like even metal metal inlay yeah. in it. Yeah. And then uh, do a nice chest set for it. Yeah, that would be cool. But I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't think I. Pray, I, I don't think I would sell that one though. <clears throat> then I gotta figure. Out, then I gotta figure out what kind of wood I want to use for it because I know. You know, like everything's gonna be so sort of freaking expensive. Whether it be, like, a, 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 I think a cherry and cherry and maple set would look really nice. It would. A walnut and maple would look nice too. A walnut and ash. Yeah. All right, just get away from. Let's, let's go purple heart and ironwood. There we go. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> right. You know, if, 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 if I'm gonna make something cool, I might as well make it hard. So yeah, purple heart and ironwood. There you go. Cut those in the scroll stuff. So. Uh, or you could use you could use, yeah. you could use just Texas ebony and use the sap wood for the for the one side and the heartwood for the other because they are very stark different. Yeah, I can just uh, make them out of, I can just use balsa too. I'll just make them out of balsa. <laughs> I know the other one's black because the heartwood of Texas ebony is almost black. It is so brown, but it's almost black. There's and the the sapwood is uh not quite as yellow as fresh mulberry, but it's kind of close. Oh yeah, cool, cool. Your Jerry says you can do chess pieces on his four four axis DNC. Uh, yeah, really. Now you're just bragging, Jerry. Come on. Yeah. <clears throat> you can. Oh, you, man, I got so much money. Look at all the cool <laughs> tools I got. <laughs> you, you can 3D print <laughs> test pieces. What are you talking about, Jerry? <laughs> uh, unbelievable. All right. So, anybody, uh, anyway, people. So, like I said, I'll be I'll, uh, it's a good three and a half hours today. Three hours forty minutes today. Uh, I get a lot. I get got all my backers cut. Uh, so tomorrow I'll be cutting out my name pieces. I get one more backer and name piece to do for the backer for the for the top sign uh, numbers as well. And then I'll uh, cut all these interiors out tomorrow and uh, set them out. And then I'll figure out. I'll go to Michael's and get some crayons and stop by work and pick up the mega mega heat gun at work <clears throat> so i know that it was melt right in there i might have to pick up some tin and make a little trough for these these small small smaller pieces here for these smaller little joint pieces in there i might have to like make like a little trough or a something to try and get those in there <clears throat> but Thanks for being on here, Billy. Uh, Not and, a problem. Uh, thanks for having thanks for, me. Thank you everybody for being on the chat there. Appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you all. Uh, have a good night. And uh, we'll see you all tomorrow sometime. If you Not want everybody. To hang out with us. Well, I'll be here tomorrow all day and probably tomorrow night. So we'll see everybody uh, later. Have a good night.